Hey, what's up, people? Hey, 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 hey. Yo, I should, I should add like a fucking, I should add BGM, yo. I, do I have a BGM? I don't have a BGM. I, should... I wish I could have like. Yeah. It's too late, but I want to have like a necktie over my forehead, but it's just like too much. A necktie, cause we're fucking drunk. I'm actually drinking already as well, the strong zero. Yeah, I mean, I made a solemn promise to just drink water for the rest of the night, but oh, like I'm, to, I'm in, dude. I'm yeah, like wasted. Let so. Go, baby. Wait, let All me right, um, let me add something. <laughs> Wait, let me add something real quick. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try like um, add a like, what do you call it? Audio source or whatever. You know, like ah, yeah. I want to add music. What do I do? Media source. That's what it's called. Yeah, that shit. You oh, sorry. Izak Izakaya music. It's like the tropiest. Oh, I don't know. Freaking. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you I know. know what what I know about. what you're talking about. Yeah, I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know if we do got that Izakaya music in this store, in this Yakiniku store right here. We, but yeah, you know, we know that the besties and <laughs> axolotls are shouting us dinner tonight. So <laughs> they're gonna be they're gonna be funding for our dinner tonight. Thank you. We appreciate it, you know? Free Hell meal, yeah. Free meal. Let's fucking go, baby. It's like it's like the cho difference between, like, seaweed and, like, meat, right? Mm, yeah. Ooh, the meat. I love it. Insane, baby. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Where, where is the... Dude, where did I put the song? God fucking damn it, dude. Let me, let me look for it, yo. Take your time. Take your time. Yes, sir. Will you, you, me... you want me to... Yes, stole Vesper. Stole Vesper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to entertain the axolotls. Oh, shit. I turned up your stream. Okay, I can hear myself. Wow, that's really crispy. Is that what you guys were listening to the entire <laughs> stream? What yeah, the fuck is wrong with you guys? Why were you listening to that garbage? I sound like trash. <laughs> what? Oh, Dude, this, street, this game looks so funny. <laughs> it, it looks cool, though, right? It even has a little okay, trace. Got it. Yeah. It's cool, right? And we're going to be cooking. <laughs> We must cook, Vesper. We have to cook, Axel. We, must cook. <laughs> we have to cook. Okay, now let me uh, do this. Uh, now can I? Okay. I'm pretty sure the I BGM is on now. You guys can hear the B can you hear the BGM? Oh. Can you hear it? Cool. I'm not too sure if you can, but can you hear it? Is it loud? Shit, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> well, you turn know. Turn it down a bit. Turn it down. Yep, amp it down. So where we at? Where we at? What were we talking about, huh? Yakiniku, man. Yeah, dude. Have you had yakiniku <laughs> like here yet? I haven't yet, but I am familiar with the concept of like uh, yeah. they bring you raw meat and you grill it yourself. Yeah, and yeah, I yeah. wanted to ask you a question. Uh huh. Like if you eat with like mm -hmm. three people, because sometimes if you eat with two people, like you'll get a a mismatch. But mm -hmm. like if you eat with three people or more, like one person is always like what I like to call the grill master, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Would you ever be the grill master? In what situation would you be, be the Xbox Mike? Don't go <laughs> fuck you guys. <laughs> like, would you ever be the grill master? And like, what situation would make you the grill master? A grill master. Hmm. It's the guy that takes the handle like of the tongs, right? Like, there's like one set of tongs they give you, and like one one person at the table, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like takes the reins, and then they're the ones that are like. Oh, Making dude. sure that everything is like properly cooked. I don't know. Me personally, I say like, hmm. Well, whenever I go, it's usually like you know we just look after our own meat, you know. So like here we got like the meat. I'll put some like my favorite ox tongue, baby. Oh my god, you hear Yo, that the sizzle? Tongue. The sizzle, baby. Oh, oh, what a patrician taste. Oh, tongue is so good. Dude, the tongue is there. <sighs> But we don't have time to cook all this, or we we don't we're not you know careful enough to cook all this shit perfectly. So we're just gonna let it burn and catch on fire, you know. I want the crispiness because for me the texture is like key. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna I'm gonna like oh shit that's burning, bro. Yeah. Is... We're just gonna <laughs> we're just gonna we <laughs> this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna be eating some grilled meat. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, like, give you, like, a confession. There was a time in my life where, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. I refused to eat tongue meat just because I was like, oh, the tongue meat.
Yeah. That's weird. But sound. like yeah. now I'm like 150% into tongue. It's like the best meat. It's so Dude, good. Tongue meat is so good. I It's I like 10 you know. out of 10. It's tongue is like like I don't know because like I don't like so much fatty meat. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. if it's too fatty, like it gets like too greasy, you know what I'm saying? Not not only is it like a leaner meat, mm. it's like it's like beefy it's like the beefiest tasting mm, like, part yeah dude no of, like tongue is so good you know mm. I, it might just be like the alcohol talking but like if i like was in front of a cow right now i would bite the tongue out of it oh yeah same <laughs> like i do same dude like tongue is just my my grandma hated tongue and i like really yeah because like apparently like she used to like own a cow like in her like like old farm or whatever she used to have when she was a kid what? or whatever and then it, every time she eats the, she she like thinks of ox tongue. It reminds me of the cow that she like used to have, like eating the grass, like slurping on it with his tongue. I remember she told me this story, and I was like, I was just eating like the ox tongue in front of her, being like, all right, that sounds tough on you, man, but this shit tastes so good, dude. He's like, <laughs> imagine, imagine like owning a a whole ass cow, and it's like you belong to me, hmm. and because of that. I can't eat tongue because it reminds me of you like eating grass. Like, yeah, that I just feel bad, man. We just gotta put more meat. Yeah, that's like charred. What is going on? Yeah. How do you win this game? What's going on? Oh, you don't win, man. We just cook and like we're meant to eat apparently, but like we don't have the hands because I'm eating like a hot ramen noodle at the same time while drinking alcohol, so. It's just for the vibe. It's like a bonfire we have, you know. Not in game, like in real life. Mhm. Mm yeah. Could, could you imagine if it's like we were at like a like a yakiniku place, like mm -hmm. in whatever Shinjuku, Shibuya, yeah. whatever, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And we're just like straight up like burning like in a bonfire, <laughs> and they're like, "Do you know that's like three hundred dollars worth of meat?" And it's like, "We're fucking hollow stars, bitch. Get out of here." <laughs> what the fuck? I can never do that, dude. I <laughs> I'm a, I'm I'm hella broke. I can't do that. Like no matter how much money I get, I will still always have that broke mentality. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> mm. No, like, but there's a there's like a many good uh, yakiniku places. I um I went like with my family the other day to this place called um oh hell yeah this place called Gyugyu is like in Rapongi, but oh my goodness that place was nice. Didn't you warn me to never go into Roppongi? No, I don't think so. Am I like, am I like drunk? I, think, I, think I you, mean, you are drunk. <laughs> no, well, I think you told me in DM never to go into Roppongi by myself. Mm, I remember like, like, as I was preparing, well, like, oh, wait, I'm already here, so it's what, like, I was trying to keep it in the wraps, but you were just like, don't go there by yourself. Like, mm. is dangerous. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, no, like, um, it's not Roppongi, I think I'm talking about Kabukisho, which is uh, Shinjuku, is like the, they call it the red light district, but I don't really think it's too much of a red light district unless you go in too far. As long as you're like in the Shinjuku. entrance area. Yeah, Shinjuku. This is I ate the Shinjuku, I ordered a ramen place, sir. Mm, really? Because I, I, I came in there from the airport. Mm -hmm. It well, seemed okay, no? Mm, it's a wine place, I go there. Matter of fact, I, I was there drinking tonight, so. Mm. I completely like misheard you then because I I distinctly remember like Rapongi being like no good, mm, but I guess uh, it's like Shinj Shinjuku I should be worried about. Um yeah, it's more like Shinjuku because here's the thing, okay? Any anyone else who's coming to Japan, this is like a little heads up. <laughs> Shinjuku slander. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's true. What they do is they like walk up to you, right? All these people yeah. like comes up to you with like a menu being like, hey, you know, Onisan. <laughs> Are you like free? Do you want to come drink at an izakaya? It's usually okay. when you're with your friends. They don't ask someone that's alone because they don't go drinking, right? They're alone. Well, like, go <laughs> drinking. Oh no. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I like put salt in your wound. No, 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 uh, no, we'll no, put no, some no, bandage no. on it. But hey, hey, what can we do, right? You so, like, know, buy me a beer and we're good. We're okay. Good. Don't worry about game, it. Game. Yeah, yeah. Grab like a draft beer. That shit tastes so good, man. Draft beer. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Well, like, so yeah, what happened was, or what what happens is, like, they, they come up to you and they're like, oh, you know, we'll, gi we'll give you, like, you know, it's a very cheap izakaya, we'll, we'll show you. And then they take you to, like, the store, right? And then it's, like, full, that store. Okay. And then they'll be like, 
oh, sorry, this store is very full. And that store is legit, you know? The store they take you to first is very legit. But then afterwards, they'll be like, oh, I'm like, sorry, we're gonna, we're gonna take you to, like, another store. And they, like, walk okay. you to some, like, sussy second store, they call it. Which is, like, the scammer store. There, okay. they scam your ass. They have, like, they have, like, people in, like, suit waiting in the back that they, where they, like, like, they threaten you. They're like, we're gonna beat the shit out of you. We don't pay up, kind of. So you gotta watch uh... out, you know. If they try to take you to, like, a second store, you gotta be like, hey, yo. I'm good, sir. And you gotta, you gotta just right. walk out. Yeah. Let's, let's do like a, let's do like a reversal. Reversal? <laughs> what? We're gonna, we're gonna like, we're gonna like debate them. And <laughs> they're gonna take us to the second store. And they're gonna, we're just gonna beat the shit out of them. What? <laughs> they t truly, temp we're not, we are let's an evil it. guild. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is like, okay. If <laughs> extortion is not extortion if they deserve it, right? So if they try to that extort us and we counter extort them, then it's kind of like free money, right? Like it's <laughs> like printing money and it's kind of like we can use that money to get more beer. All right. Can hang out. Actually, who's, 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 whose channel are we going to be streaming on? <laughs> whose channel are we going to be doing? We, we will probably get banned if we do that. Mm. So let's go ahead and do that on Dez's channel. What do you think? Okay, I'm game for it. Yeah. Let's I'm do it. Agony. Let's yeah. do it. But yeah, let's I'm game. Do it. I'm game. Let's do it. <laughs> We just like take a streak. <laughs> he wakes up one day. What the fuck is going on, manager? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, but like, here's the thing, right? I we... up, but I feel like you're on the verge of creating nuclear fusion, like in that. <laughs> oh, it's it's okay, no problem. We can add more meat to the. The level of heat is creating creating like plasma, like decentralized electricity. Yeah, no problem though. Okay, okay, all right. We gonna we gonna <laughs> add more meat. Uh, we need we need fuel. We need the fuel. Dude, let's like, go. We haven't met up yet though, right? Because like yeah. I was like I was like hmm, when am I allowed to say when Vess is coming to Japan, right? I was I didn't know. I was like hmm, I didn't say anything. Have you have you already talked about it? Have... I I think in the end, like mm -hmm. Altair did me like a solid mm -hmm. because I'm such a paranoid person. <laughs> I'm drunk now, so I can just say it. Like mm -hmm. I'm so freaking paranoid, I can tell this to Axel Levels. Like mm -hmm. I was actually planning on doing my entire trip and not telling people I was here until I like mm -hmm. had gone back home. Really? I mean, like, I told people in my stream that, like, I admired the fact that you just don't give a fuck. And oh. you just, like, tell people straight up. But for me, I'm so paranoid. It's, I don't want people to know where I am or what I'm doing. Oh, right. And I was, like, literally planning on doing my entire trip without telling people where I was at. And okay. streaming at, like, fucking three in the morning. Okay. Pretending to be at home. <laughs> <laughs> but now that it's, like, out of the bag, I could just be, like, open and honest with the Vessies and just be like, hey... <laughs> You're in Japan. I don't want to stream at three in the morning. Like, can we work something out? And then I can, and then I can, like, be more real. And I think, I think Altair did me like a solid. And then now we can like actually, because like, That's if I did dude. that, we can't hang out hmm. at all true. because hmm. I'm pretending not to be there. But like that now true, I yeah. can't. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, like we were planning to do like some some off collabs, right? We were planning to do. I didn't squeal. Are you proud of me? I didn't fucking squeal at all. Could you? <laughs> <laughs> like it's up to whatever you want to tell people like what we're up to. Oh like, shit! Well, I, I just told them. <laughs> I just told them. Okay. Well, shit. I just well, told them. I mean, I mean, like the nitty gritty, like what we have planned, right? Oh yeah, I haven't told them what we have planned either. But you know, right now. Yeah, me like, neither. Yeah. yeah. Mm. <sighs> Some interesting off collabs are coming up. Won't say when yet. Won't say when. Yeah, yeah. But, um, I'm Can just you put lettuce in there. Like, what's I don't the lettuce? think. So. I think you have to put the. Oh, we. You can just eat lettuce on its own. What is the lettuce where you... Oh, you like put the meat in the lettuce. Oh, you know how they like wrap it in the lettuce and eat it? You know? Oh, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. It's burnt. I mean, come on, guys. I don't have four hands. I'm not Magni Desmond. How many hands does he have? Eight, eat was it? it? Uh, can I even <laughs> eat this? I don't know. Could you imagine like a bunch of like like furiously sweating like axolotls and like they don't want to do it, but you're just feeding them like charcoal? No, these are the axolotls. These little yeah. th <laughs> these are the axolotls. Wait, that's the that's the that's like that looks like a dick. No, no, this piece of meat. <laughs> you 
That's like the fans. tongue of axolotl. This is the axolotl tongue. No. This is the the like you know like axolotl's got like this horn, right? Is it like horn? What do you call it? I don't know what it's called. Antennas. The antennas of the axolotl. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah like the little th like. This is like the, the tail, the fatty bit, dude. The tail's got all the good juicy fat on it. They have like the gills with like the, the yeah, yeah, wiggly stuff. bits, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's all <laughs> yeah, axolotls. Yeah, yeah. We're just putting them on the grill, you know? Wait, are we eating your fan base? Yeah, is we that, are. Like, hmm. Mmm. I'm pretty I'm pretty drunk, but like Vesties is a little weird, right? I don't I think I would not. ever I don't think I would ever eat a Vestie. Like I don't see that ever happening. Really? Yeah. I don't know. What if they like think about it, what if they're like juicy A5 meat though? Alright. Think about it. What I'm gonna be mm. like hundred percent candid because I'm like pretty gone. The only reason I would ever eat a Vesti, and I'm like looking at the camera now, is if you ever piss me off, <laughs> then I would eat you. But in in the defense of the Vestis, they've not yet ever pissed me off. Right. Well, yeah. you know, like, I'm pretty sure some people would like to get eaten by you. So I think some people are going to piss you off now because they want to be eaten by you. He's freaking these freaking fetishist men. I don't understand. I don't. I don't understand the, that. What? <laughs> no, Listen, me. man. Whatever. Whatever gets you like, etchy, sketchy, whatever. Right? Like, I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna like. I'm not gonna like judge people for like whatever. But like, I ain't gonna. I'm not. I'm only gonna eat you if like you legitimately piss me off, and if you're trying to piss me off. I'll just, I'll just dispose oh, of you. Dude, talking about pissing, dude, I was like, I don't know why, but like, around like, okay, on my way to like Shinjuku today, I was like kind of pissed, right? I don't know why, what? I was like, I was like in a shitty mood, right? I was just wait, pissed. Wait, wait, wait. Are we going to beat the shit out of someone? Like, what's, what's No, I didn't beat the shit out of someone, but like, <laughs> dude, there's one guy, I don't know, it's like, guy who tried to, I don't know if he was like trying to show off or whatever in like his like unknown ass brand fucking clothes this guy was wearing, kept fucking bumping at me, it was pretty like, you could see, you know, it's like trying to be a show off or whatever you call it, right? Oh, dude, and I, I just couldn't hold in my anger, and I, I straight up said to him in English, "Fuck off, you fucking like," and then I called him, you know, the c word in English. I was like, "Fuck off," you and I just started, I just walked away in shit. <laughs> this guy kept walking in. Oh, I got so pissed at him. I was like, "Move!" Imagine, imagine, imagine if we get the boys together. We drag him into an alley. <laughs> just like because no, like like this scene. no, it's it was so annoying. I was like on the same train as him from like like a like a station close to where I live, right? Yeah, and dude, this guy kept fucking like elbowing me, like kneeing me and stuff, and I got what so pissed. Fuck? It was weird. I don't know. I don't know if he was like trying to like touch me like inappropriately or whatever, but he didn't. He didn't. He was like bumping me, like. Straight up, and I got so what pissed. The... Yeah, and he was like packed as well, right? I was so pissed at him. And when I got fuck? off, like he, like he got off, to, like with me, and then he still like hit me, right? What was the expression on his face? Like what the? F what? I, I don't know, dude. He wasn't looking my way. He was looking like the other way, but he kept like hitting me with his like elbow and like knees and stuff. I don't know why. He kept like trying to turn around, and, like elbowing me and stuff. And I was like, yeah, it was. He was weird. I don't know. But he kept doing it, and when I got off, right, he he still fucking did it to me when I got off. Because I got off, and he got off at the same station as me, right? And he still bumped into me. I was like, get the fuck out of my way, dude. And I was like, I was so pissed. <laughs> I, I don't know why. You, the axolotls are like saying, chikan. That's like a, a groper, right? Like a pervert? I think so, but it didn't really feel like one, because he wasn't like groping me or anything. He was like elbowing me, right? I don't know what he want, what, what his deal was. Well, like, yeah, I mean, I mean, there's That's a like mysterious as fuck. There's a lot of I mean weird people that I've seen on the train though. Like once I got on the train and then like there was this guy in like this like flashy ass clothes, right? Super flashing, like this like gold jacket. Like I don't know, he had like chains and stuff, right? And then he what? just started screaming at this girl that was sitting along, you know, like on in Japan, like the train, the seats are like you know parallel, right? Like yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, he like. He was like on the other side of him. He started screaming to like this girl, like, 
you fucking high schooler. And he just started like screaming at her. She got so scared that she couldn't move, right? Wait, and then so like- they clearly didn't know each other and he's just- No, like, he's just like, no, yeah, he just started screaming at this like, girl and then like bro that, that's where we double larry it right like if i was <laughs> no 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 and, <laughs> no and then like, beat the shit out of this yeah guy. and what? then I, like i like this was like like not when i was here now though it was like three years ago or something when i came here i walked up wow. to that girl in like the high school girl and i was like hey you want to like walk away and then that guy started screaming at me right but then someone called like the what do you call it the train person what, what, what are they called those like train guard people that's like the conductors, right? Yeah, the conductors, like three of them or something at the station. So these guys like came on the train and they came to him. And then when they came over, the man was like, hey, I'm not doing anything. What's wrong with you? And so I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm just a little guy. Yeah, it's he's like, birthday. what a mother. Yeah, I was like, I was like, what is Sorry. Yeah, there are some. No, no, it's a cool curse as much as you want on my street. No, nice uh, Axel, dude. can I be real? Like, apparently, like, they change stuff and we can't curse because it'll, like, <laughs> actually hurt our channels. Like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that to your channel. Wait, we, we can't? All my cha all my streams are still monetized, though. What's up with, what? <laughs> is... I don't want to mess with it, especially if it's not on my home channel. But yeah, I got like pretty drunk and I started cursing, but it's just like, whatever, it's my own channel. I don't, I don't care, but like... What? Dude, what the heck? So so he wasn't like crazy. Like as soon as he realized that like mm. the authorities, like the cops came up, he was just like, oh, I'm, I'm completely... I'm good. Yeah, yes. Oh, and, and then the, the conductors were like, okay, well, please don't do anything. And then they just left him. And I was like, okay, well, do you want to just get off this train and hop on the next one? And she was like scared, dude. I could tell. Yeah. She could. She didn't even talk to me, dude. She was like nodding. So I was like, okay, let's just get off and then we'll hop on to the next one. Went up to the conductor and I was like, you know, can you like tell her how to get to whatever fucked off? She probably knows because like she's, she's on the train, but like yeah. she's like a scared girl, right? She's like in middle school. So she looks like she was 14 or 15 or something. So I was like, God, yeah, it's crazy. Some people on trains are just crazy, but I don't think this is just Japan. It's like everywhere in like general, there's like, you know, people like that, you know? I mean, yeah. I saw a guy take a dump on a train, like just like <laughs> fucking drop his pants. Saw his dick hanging out. And he, oh, shit. It's just take a dump like in the middle of a train. What the fuck? Nah, but that's not that's like nothing compared to like what you're talking shut up Al what? Axel I'll shut up you know, you've, you've seen a guy taking a dump like on a you oh, guys dude. are being coy <laughs> like my oh my god you remember that you remember this like friend I, I told you that I have I, I've, I've already talked about it streaming is like we call him like PJ right? I've already talked to him you know like the okay. friend you remember the friend like remember the friend that I gaslit about the shitting guy you know the oh shitting my guy. God. <laughs> the shitting guy. Okay. okay. So, so uh, this this man, like we we went like me and PJ and a bunch of other friends, right? We went drinking, right? And we we're on the train, right. and then PJ, right? He 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 wanted to take a piss, like so bad, right? So it's like, all right, boys, you know what I'm gonna do? When the train doors open, I'm gonna make a dash. I'm gonna go to the closest fucking bush and take a piss there, and then oh hop back onto God. the train, right? He did that, but then he wanted to take a shit as well when he started. So we even went further into the bush, took a oh shit, but the train already God. left. By the <laughs> so he was like left stranded. <laughs> now, now I'm imagining like you're like the train doors close and you're looking. You make eye contact with your buddy, like his, his just his head is like peeking up above a bush, and then you start moving. And then I'm sure you're you're a boomer, you're a zoomer, so you've never heard this before, but like. Yeah. The uh, the curb your enthusiasm song where he's like, it's fine, like, I'll show you after the stream, don't no. worry about it. But it's like the curb your enthusiasm, like, like, bit song, and it's like as you're watching your friend take a dump in the bush, yeah. and you're just like, the train starts like leaving. It's like, yeah. you fucking idiot, yeah, like, he was. That's just, that's just PJ, and I'm telling you, dude. Which is why, like, which is why, like, all this, like, the shit gaslighting meme is so, is so funny when it's this guy, because he does stuff like that, you know? Like, oh it's so believable. Oh, my freaking when... God. Oh, my goodness, it's actually... No, I'm just imagining he's, like, he's, like, squatting in a bush. His, like, dick is hanging out, and it's just, like, he's taking a dump. <laughs> Literally. No, that is, oh that, that is what it's like. I'm not even kidding, dude. I am not even kidding. 
This li oh, All dude. Right. <clears throat> who's the PJ in Tempest? Mm. I'm not saying any of us are like him, but who's who's like? It's probably in the new group, new group, right? Like, who do we got? Oh, okay. We'll, we'll see who's the PJ in the temp. Okay, but he, so the PJ. But here's the thing, PJ, right? He likes to. I think it's like Dez kind of, to be honest, or Bell. It's Dez or Bell, definitely. Is he? Because you know, like, his PJ, he usually likes to, you know, act cool. He usually likes to act like I'm smart. Because he's the type of guy who knows a lot of things, but it's like surface knowledge level stuff, you know? He'll go in and like, oh, I know about physics. Physics is this. I know about like nuclear power. I know about this and that. But then it's always like surface knowledge stuff, right? Like he, 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 he'll pretend like he knows so much stuff, but it's like so like not in depth. He just knows some things about it, right? So I think it's like Magni or like Bell. Oh, okay, it's like, but okay. then when he does like stupid shit, he does stupid. Oh, dude, he told me about this like funny story. I don't know. I don't think it's funny because I, I, when I heard it, I was like, I felt so bad for this kid, right? But <clears throat> the, he went to like, no, there's there's this thing called like cadets and like North um North Elysium, right? Cadets is like, are like cadets. You know, okay. It's like some like army training, Boy Scout thingy, Boy Scout. Let's just say, okay. <laughs> okay. Like a yeah. Boy Scout, right? And PJ, and this friend of his, right, was apparently packing some stuff in the back of like this like huge fucking four wheel drive right okay and it was like he was like packing it in and then this like other kid was still packing it but pj this idiot he finished packing his shit so he grabbed and like he grabbed on the fucking you know like on the trunk like you have to like pull down the back of it like to close it right yeah this yeah, kid yeah. still had his head in and he was packing the shit like he slammed it on his fucking head <laughs> Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, he, you could like kill a dude to, what yeah exactly and you know what pj was like a short guy right so like he had to like jump to grab so he was like he had more force in it you know <laughs> jumping up and pulling down on it right and then ever since then right this friend that he talks about is he, he's like he he does he keeps mumbling words and i was like what the fuck you like you actually like i think you actually seriously brain damaged him but pj is like i don't think so man he's just probably just an idiot uh, and then, like, I played, a, I played like, a game of, you know, like, League of Legends with him and PJ and stuff, but he, when he talks, he's like, uh, uh, she's <laughs> like, uh, I was like, PJ, oh, I, I, I actually think he's damaged. His ass I don't know. We, should, we should, like, mask up and, like, just kick his ass and just, like, teach him a freaking lesson. Yo, you can't. PJ, always be doing shit like this, man. I, I'm telling you, dude. PJ's always doing stuff like this. Like Has ever since he ever gotten like a solid whooping for like being an idiot. I don't know, probably not, because he still is That's an idiot. That's probably why he's. I'm drunk and I'm sorry. Like I shouldn't advocate violence, but like I feel like most of the people that are idiots are hey, idiots hey, hey, because hey, they have been me like. Out. They have, you're not an idiot. Like, here's the thing. Like keep like oh, there's a funny Trump. Oh, he's a dumb guy. He doesn't know how to read. I know you can read. You can read in two languages, which is like more languages than I can read in. <laughs> okay. So whatever, fuck that shit. What I'm saying is that like people that like deserve to get their asses kicked, uh -huh. but don't like will continue uh -huh. to be dumbasses until no. they get their asses kicked. <laughs> and so we're we're doing like a public service if we like we put on like dead president masks and just like whoop the shit oh, out of this dude, dude right? This man though, PJ is like, he is the biggest chuny bo as well, man. I swear to God. I still remember he invited me and this other mate, right, to go fucking paintballing, right? Okay. And we were like, hey, yeah, let's go. Because we used to play CSGO back in the days, right? And you know how CSGO was a pretty big game? And it was cool, right? We all love CSGO. Yeah. So we're like, all right, let's play some fucking CSGO. And we're playing. And then PJ was like, hey, yo, let's go play some paintball next time. And I was like, all right, okay. let's go. So cool. We were so hyped to go, like, headshotting people. We got hit by one bullet, one, one paintball. And it was insane pain. And we were just hiding behind trees the whole time. Be like, I, I don't want to go out there. It hurts. I don't want to go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, dude, we got hit by one bullet. And we're like, oh, shit. That fucking hurts. Exactly what you're talking about. Dude, it's scary, dude. Like, boy, I don't know. I don't know how many people has been to, like, paintballing. But if you play without armor, man, that shit hurts, mate. Yeah, definitely. You yeah. Cause like you have to pay for armor, right? And we were like broke ass high school students. We we're like, fuck armors, dude. We don't need that. We just want bullets, right? Oh my god. And we went in and we got shot in the chest. And I was like, my titties hurt. I don't want to go out there anymore. I was like, hell no. You know, it hurts like that. Paintballs are a fighting game. Hanging out with this battle. Battle.
<laughs> paintball is horrifying. It is. Paintball is horrifying if you're not independently wealthy. <laughs> High quality equipment. <laughs> If you have if you're really wealthy and you have high quality equipment, then it's really fun because you're dunking on. Yeah. <laughs> like, Dude, yeah, it's stupid. We had like we had like this like stupid like dumbass looking AR gun when everyone had like fucking like these sniper rifles and shit, dude. Like what? <laughs> you're rocking like like. Straw and you're shooting spitballs, and then like the other guy has like a fucking longbow. Dude, like, or, or, literally, dude, it's 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 like you remember when we played PUBG at like at the very first. You remember when we played PUBG? It's like that session. It's like we're playing PUBG, dude. The guy, the guy that was on like a dune buggy, and then like they flipped off of it and did like a 360, and, and they like, still killed us. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. That was like, ridiculous. <laughs> These people, dude, these PUBG players are built different. Huh? I'm just telling oh you. Oh my god. Fucking PUBG. <laughs> We're gonna lose the perms, but it's just like. I, I think I was the one that was like, let's play PUBG. Like, I grew up. I, like, I love that game. Mm. That's like the my BR game. Mm -hmm. And then we played it, and then, like, unanimously, like, all four of us, including me, is like, yeah, we're never going to play this game ever again. How about, <laughs> why don't we actually play it, then? How about that? <laughs> why don't we actually plan a PUBG stream? <laughs> it's agonizing. It's like... No, but, you know, like, PUBG, you can make, like, your own room and play with people, right? Why don't we do, like, a viewers, like, can join so we don't get absolutely shit on, right? Because surely... That nation would cheat the fuck out of that game. <laughs> <laughs> like that, like the guy on the dune buggy that's like 360 no scoping headshotting like this. That's like that's like, <laughs> like 15 members of Mag Nation would be like, I'm gonna be that guy. Yeah. <laughs> it would just be awful because oh, like I get banned. Whatever, it's a free game. I'll just yeah. make a new account. No, no, there's like there's like um zombie mode in that game. So there's like four survivors and then the rest of the players become zombie and chase you. All we right. could do that All mode right. on PUBG. Yeah. Zombie mode actually looks pretty good. Okay, we'll it, we'll, we'll it, like. like think about it yeah legitimately looks like pretty fun mm. it's just like i've been out of i've been out of the game so much like i don't actually know like how it works but oh I me would neither be i'm like i'm pretty like lost about it but yeah i think you'll be yeah. good honestly yeah oh man so many crazy dogs I'm, what dude. the f f what the fuck is going on with <laughs> the game <laughs> oh it's just the meat to burn you want to add more meat what's the what's the counter the at the top Oh, it's like the, the power of the fire. Oh. What do we do? We can like toss the meat. I think the guy is getting a bit full, you know. I think we can like try eat it and stuff. This is like, you guys are on the other end. So I'm just feeding these burnt meat to the axolotls. Do you, I'm not even do eating you, it. Do you yeah. hold with the idea that like burnt, if you eat too much stuff that's like completely burnt through, mm -hmm. it's like a carcinogen do you know what a carcinogen is oh i don't know but it sounds bad for your body <clears throat> it's it's like it's like a cancer causing oh yeah, yeah 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 i know i know i know yeah do you believe in that or do you think that's like i believe in it man, toughen up and just eat the eat the charcoal i believe in it actually i mean i believe I in what what people tells me dude i'm like okay <laughs> just believe it straight up i believe in it i mean i don't yeah, like feed. burnt food anyways so yeah you guys like burnt I, meat? I I like the texture, like char on top of the meat, but I like it to be like rare on the inside. I like it bloody on right. the inside. Oh no, I understand you. It needs to be for, like rare. Yeah, for me, that's like the ideal. Where it's like if you have rare meat, but the outside is like mushy and like mm -hmm. I, like te texture for me is like eighty percent of cooking. Hmm. And I love like the char on the outside and like the the juiciness on the inside mm. and that's like 10 out of 10 for me and like if i have the juiciness on the inside but the outside is like mushy and not properly like cooked i don't like that either right like, yeah eh, i'm good no i t i totally understand you i i, I like my meat rare too it's much yeah. better when it's like bloody you know yeah 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 oh so good especially the more expensive the cut or it's just like you don't want to waste it's like mm just like a hot like a wagyu like you want a wagyu well done <sighs> yeah hell no dude and yeah. you don't want too much of it you know what i'm saying you want like a bit of it right you just want like a small dice of it 
I yeah. Pick up it, to enjoy, because like you don't want to get full off of like good fucking meat. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like inefficient where you want to enjoy like the wagyu yeah. and then you and then you go for like all you can eat afterwards and just like oh, no totally i stuff. totally understand you, yeah yep 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 yeah oh we gotta go to yakiniku though dude we we oh. we can go to like a yakiniku where they have like private rooms and then we can do like a twitter space or something or we're just eating please, yakiniku. please don't cook it the way that you're cooking it in this game <laughs> no i won't <laughs> I'll leave it to you. I'll just not, wait for I the will meat. Not eat charcoal. I'm, not gonna do it. <laughs> I'm just gonna be waiting for the meat. I'm just gonna be sitting there like so Vesper. Where's my meat? <laughs> I'm gonna be waiting for it. Oh, back to that question that I started with. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. I tend to be the grill master mm. when I tend to like go to like a Yakiniku style place, and I'm okay. the one that has assuming that there's only one set of tongs and one person has to be the one responsible for like cooking stuff. Mm -hmm. And then everybody else is just like got the chopsticks in hand and they're like picking mm. the food out mm -hmm. as they think it's ready. Like I'm the one with the tongs and not the chopsticks. Uh, right, I see. Yeah. No, but actually like when I do it, it's like we that just... That looks like a dick and balls for sure. <laughs> oh, you noticed? A hundred percent. That looks like a dick and balls. Dick like and balls. Mm, it's Perfect. not subtle. Perfect. Fire pee pee. Fire pee pee. <laughs> 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 now, now the vesties and Axolotl are gonna eat that. <laughs> we ain't gonna yeah, eat it. It's yeah, burn, vesties, man. vesties, line up. Eat the <laughs> eat the chicken balls. <laughs> <laughs> no, we actually gotta go though. We actually gotta go yakiniku. Oh hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Dude. But yeah, we will like remember like the off collabs that you know we were planning. I could oh, give yeah. him, I could give him a little bit of a teaser, you know, not really oh, yeah, a teaser, sure. but. You know what I, mean? I was like, telling people that it's your it's your show, so like I don't want to spoil any of it. But if you do, mm. it's not a spoiler. You're giving like a heads up. But well, like I, I don't want to be the one to like spill the beans. So right, right, do right. it, please. But I won't talk about too much about the stuff we were planning. Um, after you know a while, but you know, the most recent one, all you know, I wanted to talk to talk to people about it. You know, I mean, it's like hey, nearly nearly you know six month anniversary. You know, like trying to trying to cook up something spicy. <laughs> is yeah i'm gonna we're gonna try to do something cool so good stuff good stuff yeah, dude you know people started calling me fucking axel holland or like tom yeah holland? what is that people people mention that in my stream and i didn't understand dude, and it's I didn't because they to... say i leak shit i don't leak anything bro i leak none no, of the new no, boys no, no, no. man i'm the i'm the squealer all right <laughs> you freaking idiots i'm the squealer not axel <laughs> and even I've like tightened up and I don't really like squeal. I know what they're talking about, like the Tom Holland. Yeah, mm. you're not really. Yeah, I'm they like number Axel one, Hall. Jimmy the Squealer. And then number two might be Altair, right? Mm, I don't know. Yeah, Dez doesn't really but I'm talk definitely much. Number one. Yeah. Mm. No, no, I Dez, did... Dez is like super professional. Like he would never leak. Mm, yeah. yeah, I don't know me. I don't even like I give too many like what do you call it? Like hints, you know what I'm saying? So like. It'll probably be somewhat related to a leak, but then people would take it in some other way, you know? If I would like to say, oh, you know. You're talking about, yeah, 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 yeah. So if I were yeah. to say A equals B, they'll be like, oh my god, A equals C, and then yeah. they'll just take it completely in a different way. And I'll just yeah, be looking yeah, yeah. at it like, well, these these dumbasses, I guess they took it the wrong way, so. Because, like, it's, I, it's the fact that you brought it up, and then, like, it's like, it's like, uh, what is it called? Like the the context of the situation, yeah, like yeah. the subtext, mm. the subtext, the subtext of the situation, where it's just like yeah. because he brought it up, and it's mm. like that's not squealing. This is different. It's different from like the shit that I do. <laughs> no, 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 no. But here's what I do, right? Like, what I do is like, for example, during um, what was it? Um, debut for the new boys, or like, a, like a couple of days before debut of the new boys. I was like, oh, you yeah. know, so many amazing things to come this year in January. Is gonna be one of the most amazing months of the. I, I straight up just said it. I was like, January is gonna be like the most ama amazing month of the year. So keep your eyes out. And everyone's like, Yay, we're gonna get like some cool shit. And they, 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 they didn't that's, expect that's it. That's not that's not squealing at all. Yeah, exactly. It's, they didn't. It's different. They didn't expect yeah. it. <laughs> Yo, Haka's in here too. Oh, what the, the fuck, Haka? Dude, guy, you guys gotta get some sleep, yo. Yeah, I gotta get. Yeah. 
talk about what on the of- one hand i'm like worried about them but on the other hand remember our first month where we were just like fucking we're going like way too hard oh, and yeah, that's, we that's were. them right now mm. so it's like i can't tell them in good conscience to like hey mm. take it easy it's just kind of like yeah, <laughs> yeah i went too hard too so it's like i no, completely understand i think that's everyone though and then like going too hard and then they'll feel like a little bit of like a burnout afterwards you know what i'm saying you go so hard in the first month and then the second month you're like i'm so tired yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah you it's because like the temper give like not too much but they give like an an abundance of support before mm. you've even like proved yourself yeah. it's just like oh mm. shit like i gotta give like 150 mm, percent exactly dude yeah like because the one- like yeah you're still new and you haven't yeah, yeah, like yeah. Yeah. Exactly. The one one huge thing I really like about Temporas is like so supportive. Okay. I'm gonna be dead honest. Oh, I, yeah. I for sure. I'm gonna like I don't know. Maybe I'm biased, but I, I still feel like we have like the best community. I'm not even shitting. Okay. Like I might be a bit biased. <laughs> 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 huh? I'm I'm still like drunk, but I was like, oh my god, that could go like really bad. <laughs> oh, can it? Can it? What do you mean? I don't. It's just me saying I I think I'm. It's just me saying I think my fan base is just the most amazing people, right? <laughs> no, I would agree with that. It's just like outside of our group, there could be people that would just be like, what? Okay, oh. How dare you? Right? Right. Well, here's the thing. Right. This is me being biased to my viewers. Then let's just say that. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's because I only see my viewer's kindness towards us, right? Or our viewer's True. kindness towards us. Like, I don't see, you know, I don't, like, lurk in every single other person's stream. And I don't I don't sit there like, oh, my God, their fan base is amazing to this person, right? I, I don't have time to do that. The only time I get to see some fan base being really nice is our fan base, right? It's because we're streaming, True. right? Yeah, so just being fully fucking honest, you know? For real, for real. Yeah. I, I agree. 100%. <laughs> Let's go. All right, dude, I'm, I'm, go. I'm going to I'm gonna go grab more alcohol. And you, can you stall for me for like one or two minutes? Yeah, yeah, get in there, get in there. All I'm right, going to chat I'm with the Axel go. Axel Nation, hello. Hello. How are you? How are you? I feel like we don't chat enough. I see a couple of essays in there, too. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Don't worry about the meat. Actually, actually, eat the meat. Eat the meat. Remove the meat. I don't have the ability to remove You're just going to have to pick it up with your teeth. Get in there. Don't worry about the heat. Don't worry about it. Get in there. Get in with your teeth. and Yeah. Love forever. Uh, uh, uh. No, thank you. I worry. Steal the pizza of meat with your spear. <laughs> What's Axel doing? He's getting more beer. He's getting more alcohol. Now, I would love to get another one, but I'm, I promised the powers to be that I would I would leave it at that, and I'm, I don't know. If you stuck a fork in me, I would be done, right? Oh, he's back. Hello. I'm back. Welcome What's back. up? What, what were you talking Welcome about? Uh, I was just asking the Axel to stick a fork in me. What the fuck? Because I'm done. What the fuck? Don't worry about it. Huh? It's an, it's an idiom for, like, boomers. Don't worry about it. There's no way that you would... Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was, like, watching your um stream where you were talking about, like... You were! Thank yeah. you for hanging out. No, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, cool. Yeah. Like, you you listen to Hacker's original song, and you you vibe with that type, kind of song since um, you were, like, 15 or something. Yeah! Mm-hmm. Oh, man. I, I actually like those type of music, too. Like... Death, metal, death metal yeah 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 it's so good you know um, loading like... in vegas was it called loading in vegas you know that band? oh yeah, yeah the I jp love... band right mm, yeah I yeah love... they're so good mm, it's, it's amazing yeah they did um they, they did the kaiji opening two yeah they, they did. did they did dude they, they, they did someone else too i don't remember something big mm-hmm. Aru, Haka, yeah, yeah, yeah. Haka, you're gonna fucking be big. You're gonna be great, dude. Keep Hell up the yeah. good work, brother. Keep up the fucking <sighs> good work, dude. It's yeah. like, I would call it like proto emo because it's not emo. Mm, yeah. It's emo before emo, and it was more like metal. And it's mm. just like that, like, cusp for me is like my childhood. Yeah. So when I hear it in this year of our mag 2023, it's mm-hmm. just like, 
activates my fucking neurons. It's, it's like, like, oh, we're still making music like that. Hell, let's go. It's crazy because I'm going to be dead honest with you. I have never seen like a corporate VTuber. There probably is, but I just haven't seen it personally myself. I've never Same. seen someone do yeah. like a death metal, you know, like. Like like an Utaite style like yeah. content creator. Yeah, exactly. I've never fuck I've never seen that. So I've like, never what? seen it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It's insane, yeah. Actually, can you can you handle the group now? I'm gonna go I'm gonna take a oh, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, go, go for it. Go for it, go for it. But yeah, some exciting things to be coming in the future. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. You know, we're gonna be doing some I'm gonna be dead honest with you. I'm gonna be doing off collabs with, you know, Vesper. And we have, you know, a six-month anniversary stream. We're planning something insanely amazing for that. So please uh, be interested in that as well. What else is interesting? I mean, I was thinking of, you know, just doing like, like we go, we go drinking at somewhere, get like a private room. And then we just like have like, what do you call it? Fucking Twitter space or whatever. And just having a chat and all that. Very excited. Very excited. Yeah. What kind of streams? So... Tom Holland, shut the fuck up. I'm not Tom Holland, dude. I will take the compliment, though, because Tom Holland is a handsome young man. And it's like you guys are calling me a handsome, like, you know, a handsome young man. But we do have, like, a couple of schedules. So Vesper is going to be doing two off-collab streams on his channel, and I'm going to be doing two off-collab streams on my channel. Yeah. For the very... I'll just give you guys, like, the ending, the cherry, then. I'll give you guys, like... To top it off, what? Well, actually, fuck it. Should I? Hmm. Do I want to tease you guys? I don't know what the fucking. I don't know what what I should do. Hmm. I'm wondering. What shall we do? I don't know. I don't know. What shall we do? No spoilers. You guys don't want spoilers. I mean, I wonder. Hmm. Well, we're gonna be doing something amazing, actually. Actually, now that I mention it, like, this wasn't in the plan, but I really do want to do a Gumpla building. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you know what, I'm gonna ask him now. You you back, Vesper? Are you back, Vesper? Hello, hello, Vesper, are you back? Yeah, I'm back. I bashed uh, my head against the door again. Oh my goodness, dude. This is the third time, like, I'm gonna <laughs> die. <laughs> I'm, like, losing, like, 50 to 60 brain cells every time I do that. And I and I haven't done that. Oh, my goodness. At all until I started drinking way too much. Oh, and just my keep hitting my head against God, it. Gotta be careful. I was, yeah. like, talking to chat, you know, like, you remember how, like, we were, like, planning some, like, you know, off-collab streams, right? Yeah, yeah. I was wondering if you wanted to do, like, a Gompla building off-collab stream. Do, do you build Gompla? I, <laughs> I've never I've I've built one Gundam, which is oh, Epion, yeah. mm -hmm. but I had help with it. The only ones right. that I've built like completely by myself are mm -hmm. like three separate Evangelion models, <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> which is like the cool. plastic where you like clip them, and then you did that, and I did that all myself, and it's like right. oh, so good, dude. I was thinking like uh, if we could build like a Gunpla, that would be pretty cool on stream. You know, we just go into like a geek great. geek anime talk, and we're just gonna be like building yeah. Gunpla. Let's all right, it. pretty cool. Yeah, all right. We'll plan it. Yeah, let's go. Easy. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Easy peasy. Yep. Let, let, let's fucking go. What, Just if like we, what if we, like, band it? Because we got, like, I, I I hesitate to spend money unless it's, uh -huh. like, something that I think that'll, like, entertain, like, specifically mm -hmm. the Vesties. Mm -hmm. I feel like what if we, like, go into Tokyo and find, like, the most stupidly expensive gun play, like a $600 <laughs> gun play, and we'll split it between us. Okay. It's, like, ridiculous. It's, like, a it's like a 9,800-piece gun play, like, quadruple S I'm game. Platinum okay, we can do tier, that. And we just fucking build that shit. I'm and fucking... Just like, I'm fucking game, dude. We can do that. And then after it's done, we can put, like, a dog in it. And it's just... <laughs> <laughs> like, what, what the fuck? Oh, dude, we can do like that. Or seven hundred dollar Dude, we could try to look like for Gundams that like suit what was it? Suit the, each one of us, right? Ooh, and then like, that might be good. and then we could like paint it so it's it looks like us, right? We can grab like paint. <laughs> it's gonna look like it's gonna be such a shit job, dude. <laughs> what do you it's gonna look Makes so sense. bad, but yeah. yeah for for yeah. me, like I'm always in the mode of like, what would what would get people like? Mm -hmm. 
like I'm thinking like clickbait, right? Mm -hmm. And it's like these two idiots from like Hollistar's Tempest like spent the like X amount of money on the most expensive gunpla in the world, <laughs> and then it's like, oh, I'll click that, and then people oh, like click that. Dude, maybe we should so do some like, like we buy like Big Sam, which yeah. is like oh, just dude. like a. The flying saucer with like legs, right? And it's just like, there you go. Well, we, we like, should we should actually like do like a tall the... content. No, yeah, I, let's do it. Like, you know what we should do? You're, you know, like BuzzFeed, right? You know how they do like, oh, <laughs> like the, the cheapest sushi and the most expensive. We should do like a cheapest gunpla and the most it's expensive so, so gunpla. Like, let's look yeah. Look. <laughs> so when you brought the gunpla, my immediate thought was like, what's the clickbaitiest like bullshit <laughs> that we could do? And it's like an eight foot tall like big sam there you go <laughs> all right we'll do worth it it come flow worth it. we just have to find it i'm sure like some place in, in in tokyo like has like like a ridiculous like gunpla and it's just like no one's ever gonna buy this and then these two drunk idiots will walk in it's like give it you know what give us two because we're gonna fuck up the first one because we're drunk as shit and then we, we buy like two of them <laughs> That would be so fun. <laughs> as long as we entertain the temper, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, like, honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm game for everything, dude. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> ah, good oh. stuff, good stuff. So, yeah. Do you, do you want to talk about potentially what we, we're we going to be doing for six months, or should we hold it on for a bit longer, that one? Ooh. I don't know. The I, here's the thing. Like, I don't know whose channel it's going to be on. Oh, it's going to be think, like, I think we're going to do one on our, our, uh, our side and one on their side. You know what I'm saying? Mm, fair, fair. So I think it's going to be think, like... I do think like the DLB. person that, that streams it on our side should be the one that like unveils it is okay. definitely not going to be me. If okay. it's you, I think you can. Okay. But if it's not you, then I don't think we should. Right. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I, I came up with the idea... <sighs> I you guess did. in yep. the end, yeah. Um, well, let's just say, let's just say, okay. So, let's just say, you know, there will be two POVs this stream. We won't say what we're <laughs> going to be doing. Two POVs. There will be two POVs, okay? It is a six-month anniversary for Tempest, right? And Vesper, you oh, said yeah. he won't be streaming it, and I'll be... So, which means one of the POV is mine. And then who's the other POV, right? Who knows? Who knows? But I'm just saying, bro, this is... This is like a Tempest six month anniversary, <laughs> right? This is a Tempest six month anniversary. And I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> stop We're calling destroy me. Them. Yeah, I'm just calling gonna, them yeah, out right I, now. Yeah, like, exactly. People could clip it and then they can mm. be like, oh, we've asked for, we heard you're talking shit. It's like, yeah. Yeah. We're going to destroy I, I normally never talk shit, but I'm like 120%. We're just going to yeah. destroy them. I mean, we're going to have a practice round before that. Am I right? You know what I'm saying? We're going to have exactly. a practice. Yeah. So exactly. We're going to destroy. Yeah. We're gonna destroy Axel Hollands. It's not gonna be close. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, Bessie. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna type it in Discord. I'm gonna type it in Discord for you, so so, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so the viewers won't know. Uh, let me let me type. The plan is is that um, here's the plan. <laughs> what do we got? Oh, uh, okay. good. I'm at some funny yeah. you said okay. son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's still like Okay, can you oh, see? Oh, okay, okay, I see it. Yeah, you yeah, see? Yeah, 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 so yeah, like yeah. which means like we're gonna have to, you know, we're gonna have a role, right? Like each one of us is gonna have a role, what we're gonna do. Which means like there is a chance still. There is a chance that Yeah. There is a chance, fair, you know? Fair. Yeah. Not only that, but next week we also have a Left 4 Dead 2 collab with the you oh, you point. unveiled it already? Yeah, I'm I already, excited about that, dude. We are gonna fucking smoke them, baby. We are gonna smoke <laughs> them. We are gonna smoke them out of the fucking. Actually, game. like, yeah, you, you and Altair, are pretty good at the game. No, no, no. I, I don't. The, no. We're gonna smoke. Hey, yo, if Hacker Battle, any of you guys watching right now, we're gonna smoke you guys. Just saying, you. <laughs> Although we might have lost to the JP Senpai, we ain't gonna lose to you guys. That's that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> dude, we got you know. Tempest boys, bro. The first gen Tempest boys. We've we've been at it for a while. We've been at it for a I while. Probably practice. I think I'm gonna get in there and practice. <laughs> I've never heard of someone practice Lebanon too, my bro. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, <laughs> definitely. Like the game is like actually pretty skill based, right? Especially the <laughs> PvP elements of I, the, yeah. I think, but dude, the PvP game is actually really fun. I'm not even. It's gonna like lie. super fun. Left 4 Dead 2 is a really it's good so game. So fun, yeah. Yeah. But dude, like I I hate being the humans. I love being the fucking monsters and you know the zombies. Me too. <laughs> dude, it's so well, who's fun. your favorite monster? Me. Big talk. <laughs> you big uh -oh. talk. Oh hell. Dude, my favorite. Hmm. My fa dude, at the end, you know, where you get to become like the huge Hulk guy at like the bridge, that was my uh, favorite. the tank. Yeah. Yeah. She For me, tank. I like the tongue boy. Like the <laughs> oh, tongue boy is oh, like, you get person. one shot and like, if you tongue someone and you're like out of line of sight because you're like way up or way below or like way to the side, yeah. it's the funniest thing in the world. Dude, and it's just like- Every time, Magni, man, just every time getting tongued yeah, in the ass, He gets tongued like dude. really hard yeah, every time. Yeah, every I don't know what's going time. on. I don't know yeah. what's up with Magni and like getting tongued. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did you see recently on Twitter? Magni got caught cheating by Rio Senpai, yo. He was talking about eating something off Leon's tummy and Rio Senpai. Be I was fair. Like, yeah, he's a cheater. I'm gonna be real with you. If you check that tweet, I was like, wait, 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 wait. Let's not jump to conclusions. Let him cook. Yeah, let him cook. Let him cook. <laughs> it might be a misunderstanding. Maybe he wants to platonically eat sushi mm -hmm. off of Fleon's like nubile stomach. Okay. I don't know. Maybe. IDK. But he never responded. So, like, I have to be like, yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Maybe maybe or, he's cheating. Yeah. I don't know. Or maybe he just wanted Ryo Senpai's attention. Just like that. Who knows, man? Oh, he's, he's like, doing, like, the... Well, what is it called? He's doing like the. He's doing like. He's oh, playing the game. Yeah, right? he's playing he's the game. Like, he's like, no, my he doesn't God. give me enough attention. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta make my move. You know. I gotta say, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like yeah. that. I think you should just be straight up. Yeah, just be straight up. Just hit now, it. In I'm the a place. wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make no mistake. I'm a wizard. But I'm a wizard. I do think that like if you're gonna go for that, you be straight up and just be like, <laughs> if people are gonna judge you for being straight up and they're like, ah, oh, like, you should be more subtle or whatever. It's just like fuck them. Like they don't, uh, they don't deserve your time. Dude, tell tell me about like you know people telling others off about being straight. I'm the most straight up guy in the fucking world, and I've had so exactly. many people being like, Axel, you're a weird motherfucker for telling me straight up and all that. I don't give a shit. What are you gonna fucking do? Cry? <laughs> you know? It's like, what are you gonna fucking do? There's not enough it? time in the world. You just exactly, do what you dude. do, exactly. and you'll find another person if they like don't fuck with it. Bro, oh like, shit! I'm like, cursing because I'm. Oh, dude, it doesn't matter. Apparently, it's in like the first first like 15 seconds if you swear it's bad oh, yeah. or whatever. So yeah, whatever. Right, it's just, just out of sign of respect because it's your channel. Oh, like, don't I don't want to be the. Dude, I have a yeah. dick on my screen. What do you? <laughs> I have a dick. You, you should probably refresh that and get like a different dick up there. Like, especially if. A uh, new dick. Okay, yeah. Like yeah, get, eat get raw meat. Oh, they talk about yeah. raw meat. I'm gonna be like, I think I talked about it on stream the other day, but like, I actually like this dick more. <laughs> like this. So, so like, what happened? Right? Was like, me and my friends. Right? This was like. About a year ago, we went to like hot yeah. pot together, right? We went to eat hot Ooh. pot. Okay. Uh, we were eating hot pot, right? And then there's like one mate of mine, right? I don't know why, but he, he he's like he's a, he's like an idiot. Okay, he's a fucking idiot. I'm gonna be straight. He's an idiot. Okay. He he likes to show up. He has like a show okay. off complex. He always wants to show off about something. Every time he plays League of Legends, every time he plays some game with us, he's always like, "Yo, look at this like pro gamer move," and he just does some stupid shit and dies, right? Ah. It's like a show off, right? There's and, another member of Tempest that likes to do the watch this. Right? And dies. <laughs> but but his, <laughs> his, on, yeah. his thing, but I don't think I don't think Magni or Metal is that dumb, okay? Because what my friend does is okay. is we were like cooking the meat and we we're like, oh man, the meat is still raw, we can't eat it, right? Because it's like actual raw. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like ox tongue. Or like whatever. We were like cooking it in the hot pot. My mate just grabs like a bunch of raw meat. And it's like real man eat meat raw, and he just stuffs like raw meat in his mouth and fucking eats what? it, right? Yeah, it's weird. And then, but like, but like we we know he's an idiot, and we wanted him to fucking pay up for it because he's a fucking idiot, right? So we're like, all right, yeah, you tell us, man. Real man eat meat raw, go for it, eat it. And then he just kept eating it. Next day, it was like, yo, boys, I have a fucking stomach. <laughs> and it's like fucking dumbass guy. I swear to God, this fucking idiot, dude. It was so stupid. This isn't PJ, by the way. This isn't PJ. This is another friend. <laughs> it's a different yeah. idiot than you Yeah, th this isn't PJ. This is another idiot. All my friends are idiots. So I'm just going to be honest with you guys, which oh is why god. I'm an idiot too. Oh, yeah, he's oh like... Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. This guy is like... Oh, bro. Like, you know what? You know? Like, this guy's like... 
pretty pretty rich, right? This friend of mine, the idiot friend of mine. He's like pretty rich, okay. right? So like once he was like, oh boys, you know, like, can you guys like potentially buy like a whole case of like 24 cans of Pepsi to my place? Right? He wanted us to like buy because he couldn't be fucked to go to like the supermarket himself to buy it. And we were like, how okay. much and, and we were like, okay, how much do you want? And it was like, oh, however, however many you want, and we'll, we'll, I'll like pay for it. So you know what we did? We bought the whole fucking store's twenty-four fucking cases of Pepsi. <laughs> 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 cases. Well, how many cans total? Like not cases, oh, but like. I think it was about two hundred something, two hundred something, <laughs> two hundred sixty something. I think it was right. But that motherfucker finished it in three months, dude. Three months, dude. That guy, I swear, he drank that many Pepsi in three months. And we it's were like, like what? Baron Harkonnen or something? What? Axel, I have no idea. Actually, I, I think I still have the image. I, I'm sorry. You know, I, I'm, I'm going to send it to your Discord, dude. I, 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 think, I think I still have the image of it when I bought it. Dude, and you know what's funny? When we brought it to his place, he was like half asleep, right? He just like woke up. And okay. like he came out of the fucking like his like like door. And he just walked back in. Like he couldn't believe what he saw. He saw like his whole fucking... He saw so many cases of Pepsi and it's like, I, I'm not dealing. He went back. But then, like, when he walked out, he had, like, the biggest bulge. I don't know why, but, like, I think it's because he woke up and he was, like, out of bed. He had, like, a fucking bulge on his, like, crotch, dude. And we're like, what the fuck are you doing? Were you saying it like, morning wood? Yeah, he just came out with his underwear on, like, and he just... <laughs> Wait, let me, let me look what for it. F- let, let me cook. Let me cook. Are you gonna, right. Are you going to show me, like, a picture of, like, a dude with morning wood? Maybe not a morning wood exactly. Let me have a look, dude. Let me let me have like a look. an afternoon wood. Okay. I, right. I don't know when was this, dude. I need to like look at the, dude. I need to like go search for it in my like photo album or whatever you call it, dude. But yeah, it was crazy. This man like asked for Pepsi and we're like, how much? And he's like, however many you want, I'll pay for it. This man ended up paying us like three hundred, four hundred dollars <laughs> worth of stuff. I, I forgot how it, how much it exactly was, but yeah, it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you have Costco in Northern Elysium? Oh uh, yeah, we do have Costco. Yeah, we do. We do. <laughs> Imagine if you went to Costco and got all the Pepsi in Costco, which <laughs> oh is like God, probably so like eighty thousand cans. Holy! <laughs> now nah, we just went. We just went to like a supermarket, like super, supermarket, and yeah, we just, we got it. So funny! If oh, we just dude. went to a Costco and you just like you literally bankrupted him. Like he had to buy like a Tesla's worth of like. Pepsi, like eighty thousand dollars with the Pepsi. Oh my God, this this I, I don't know why all my friends are just idiots for some reason, dude. Maybe it's because I'm the idiot. Like only idiots surround me. Maybe that's why. Wait, does look. that make me an idiot? Yeah, maybe. Besties, besties. Tell I'm me sorry. I'm not an idiot. I'm sorry, besties. Your OG's is an idiot. Now. Besties, tell me, tell me, I'm smart. I'm a scholar. <laughs> Scholar, what do scholars no. do? What are scholars like? What do they do? Tell me the role of a scholar. What do What do they okay. do? Okay, people people often mistake a scholar mm-hmm. for a professor, which is like a teacher, right? A scholar mm-hmm. is not a teacher. A scholar mm-hmm. is a person that learns. So it's just like, mm-hmm. I feel conflicted when people approach me and they're like, "Teach me how to do this." It's like that's not me. I'm mm-hmm. a scholar, which means right. like, my job is to learn. I'm a oh, student. Oh, okay. So you're like a student, but a professor at the same exactly. time, kind of. Okay. Yeah. So my my thing is that, like, it's not that I know stuff and I want to teach other people stuff. My main strength is that, like, I'm 100%. This, I'm not confident about anything about myself. There's one okay. thing that I'm super confident that I think I could do better than almost anybody else. Yeah. It's my ability to learn. Okay. So, like, I could learn faster than anybody. So it's just, like, there's oh. a lot of stuff that I don't know, but I approach it knowing that i don't know it and i learn faster than most people because okay. i i know what i don't know man what the fuck pops i thought you were drunk why you, you talking like 200 iq man? Oh, did you see my tweet that i was like incredibly proud of and i did it just like off the cuff without thinking about it which tweet? The, pe- which tweet? The, the pizza tweet pizza tweet no i didn't i'm see like a pizza tweet. super proud of that <laughs> like i looked back on it and i was just like damn what? Wait, let me check. I'm, I'm gonna like go look a at you. Too. Philosophical motherfucker. Like what? <laughs> Wait, but I I sent you the video. <laughs> if you want to have right, a look right, at it right, on your on your yeah, Discord. Yeah, you show, yeah, I'll, I'll watch the video. And I'm gonna you look I'm gonna at look at the tweet. Yeah, I'm gonna go look at your yeah, tweet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, wait, wait, wait. Video. Can I watch this without like the audio? Oh, you yeah. Just watch it without the audio. <laughs> <laughs> you see. <laughs> 
<laughs> it is like <laughs> the amount of Pepsi he bought with this guy. This part is where he just like closes the door. Yeah, he just sees it. He has like a little. His shirt is like ripped. You can like kind of see his like chest. His bulge is fucking massive, and he just walks back into the fucking house. Like, and, nope. Yeah, and we're like, hey, 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 hold up, hold up. Let us cook. And we just bring in all these cans of fucking Pepsi that he asked for. <laughs> and you know what? It, what was funny? It was like we loaded into like my friend's like Toyota, right? Like uh -huh. it was like a Toyota like Corolla or something. Okay. And like, and like the car was like pumping everything out that he could because like it, it was having such a hard time carrying everything. The car's like woofed. It ain't much, but it's on his work. <laughs> like, you go up a hill, and it's like, oh, is he gonna make up this hill? I don't yeah, know what it yeah. Is. It, it, it's like you know a Mini Cooper when you when you put the aircon on, you can't go up hill. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was legit like that. Okay, what what which tweet is it? Which tweet is it? Let's see, which tweet is it? What the it's fuck is pizza Instagram? Pizza if you tweet. go to like, yeah, tw if you go to like, if, it's like, oh, how did it start? It's just like. Right, let's see, let's I was see. responding to Shinri. It's mm -hmm. like cold pizza. It's a cold pizza tweet. If you read it, you'll be like, oh, okay, there it is. All right, let me have a look. I'm going to go to, let's see. Hmm. Cold pizza. You reply to Shinri? Yeah. Okay. If you go to tweets and replies, you'll find okay, it. It's cold not like pizza a lets me know if it's okay to be depressed because it's still reasonably tasty even though it's cold. Let's go. That is true. So that is actually yeah. true. That is actually big brain <laughs> words. I'm not even kidding. That actually is true. Yeah. I do think, like, if I had to give people, like, one piece of advice, it's, mm -hmm. like, don't ever judge yourself on, like, being the best that you can be at any given moment. Mm. Because there's a lot of, like, stuff in the world. There's a lot of stuff going on in your life that's going to, like, oh, prevent no. you from being, like, no, like at your best condition. Mm. And you should always just be, like, is this the best that I could do? No, that is actually true. With, like, what I'm, like, con considering what I'm dealing with at the moment. And mm. it's, like, you might be dealing with some, like, serious stuff mm -hmm. and it's like yeah like i can't do a lot right now but like yeah. no that's I'm doing a true. lot yeah and i feel like, like it's yeah. actually better when you're like in a lower state of yourself i feel like you 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 come to appreciate things more in life i feel like like when like when you're always happy when you're always like going through good moments when you're always rich when you have everything you need to right like yeah. when you get something that's meant to be appealing to you you don't have much appreciation towards it because you've always had it, right? You'll be like, oh, you know, yeah. just another happy moment. Yeah. But like when you're feeling shit or like when you're like broke as heck, because I mean like me, like when I was in high school and when I, since I was a kid, my family's been like broke as hell, right? So me getting into like whole stuff, it's like an, insa it's like an insane opportunity. You know what I'm saying? I like, remember being like ridiculously poor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go yeah, on, sorry. Like, yeah, no, no, sorry. it's cool. It's cool. But like, yeah, it's just like because... I was so broke that during high school, I could not bring lunch to school and I had $5 and I used yes. to live off like $5 and I had to I had to decide what I was going to do with $5 every day. I was either going to get an instant noodle free so I can eat three meals a day or I'm going to go to KFC, get like a $5, you know, like a deal, you know, or whatever. Because yeah. like they do that once in a while, right? And I had to like plan it out. And I was like a yeah. growing kid in high school. But I, I had to do it because that's what I had. I had to live off of it. So now, right? I still do the same thing. I don't eat three meals. I eat one or two meals, but I eat good meals. And like, when I, every time I eat a meal, I'm like, I'm so thankful for what I fucking have now. A hundred percent. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But like, let's just say, you know, you come up in a like really rich family, you know, and you get to like eat three meals without having to wonder. You ask for money from your parents, you get it and stuff. Like, you you tend not to realize the appreciate like appreciation when you earn money yourself, you know, because like you've always had it, right? So like, you know, like. Which is why I really like it when some, like, rich parents, like, are like, I'm rich, not you, you know? You know how some, like, Gordon Ramsay has that mentality, right? Of being like, yeah, yeah I'm yeah, the yeah. rich one, not you, so you don't get anything while I get to eat whatever the fuck I want. Is like, an amazing <laughs> mentality. It's, it's like teaching them, you know, a lesson. I feel like, I feel like that, like, mentality is very much needed for, like, every single person out there, honestly. Because once you start taking things for granted... When you lose it, it's gonna hurt you like a bitch. It really definitely. Does. Yeah. yeah. But then if you yeah. if you've like if you're like used to you know being broke and like if you're used to knowing you know you first of all it reduces the risk of you losing everything right like because you'll be careful right like you don't want to yep. go back to it you like where you are. Second of all is like 
you just know how to cope with it because you've been in there once before, right? You'll be like, okay, time to work hard again, get back to where I was. And it just yep. drives you. Yep. Yeah. So I don't think like being at a low state of yourself is actually a bad thing. Matter of fact, I think it is a great thing and it's an opportunity to learn. Right? So I love like when I was in high school, I was like a depressed ass kid. I still remember, dude. Like I had the dumbest friend. I did the funniest shit in school, I swear. But at the same time, I was like very mentally not well. Yeah. But that's yeah. that's what built me like who I am now. So I'm actually I'm actually very happy. Yeah. Right now because of it. Yeah. There's always the risk of like if you had it better as a kid, you probably wouldn't be a Hall of Stars now. You'd probably mm. be like a fucking accountant mm. somewhere. And exactly. It's just like, ah, mm. shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you know what? Like, I feel like all, all of us boys have had this chat. You know, just just the, between the four of us, like we we had pretty like tough, you know, like childhood, like growing up and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And like, but like you know, you know like. <laughs> What's wrong with accounts? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Axolotl. Pardon? I'm not. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> No, I'm just getting called out, and people are like, "Oh, what's wrong with the accountants?" It's like, there's nothing wrong with the accountants. Okay, no, no, no. Like, accountants fine. Okay, the accountants. I think like... objectively, it's better to be what we're doing right now. Being a hall star is like pretty fucking awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, gonna... sorry. Yeah. No, no, it's cool. Like oh yeah. no, no, it's totally fine. It's just like an example. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, no, no, that's my bad. Here's I... the thing. I need an accountant. Yeah. So if, if there's any great accountant here, hey, yo, hit me up anytime. You know, I need a fucking accountant <laughs> to do my tax. Like... <laughs> have it in my private phone not my work phone on right. my calendar because i looked up the tax day for northern elysium there's two there's two deadlines and i have the alarm and it's just like yeah. but then here's the thing i'm not in northern elysium right now so i need to like go back first and do the stuff there but like yeah, yeah you need to get that sh yeah you need to yeah. get that shit thing here yeah. well like yeah like i mean you know the four boys we were just talking about you know like i feel like a lot of like parents in general you know and i mean if i was a parent too i would do the exact same thing so i do not blame any parents out there in the world but mm -hmm. they like if if my kid if i had a kid and my kid came up to me saying like hey dad i want to become a fucking professional gamer or like a streamer i will be like Sh shut your bitch ass up and get get work really interesting I, no i would okay but 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 here's the thing if he could prove me or she could prove me that they could study then i'll let them do it if they could do what I asked them to do, and then they want to do it on top of that, then I'll be like, sure, go for it. But if huh. they are going to be like, no, I do not want to study, but I want to do what I want, I'll be like, no, of course. But, you know, if they, like, do what I asked them to do, then I'll let them do what they want to do. You know, it's like, it's like, you know, it's the same with games. If my kid came up to me saying like, hey, you know, dad, I really want to play games. I'll be like, yeah, sure, you can play your games, but make sure to do your work first, you know? Oh, okay, That's That's okay. the mentality I have. And I'll let them do whatever they want, but they're going to have to work for it if they want to do it. They can't just do it because I'm going to be nice to them, you know, because, no, that's because I got yeah. into it. Because, just because I got into a Hollow Series is not going to be like, oh, you know, yeah, you got a chance, like, let's go. Like, I'll be like, you got a chance, but at the same time, you got to get a degree and do it, you know? I, I would like yeah. to, yeah. Because, like, you know... Like, if I were to look out for the safety of the future of that person's, right? Of my kid. Like, I wouldn't want them to funnel everything into one thing. You know what I'm saying? Like. I understand that mindset. Although, yeah. like, I respectfully disagree. Oh, really? Uh, but go on, go on. Yeah, oh, after no, you're no. done t discussing it, like, we'll, we'll go over, like, my... No, no, but this that's... This is actually a really interesting topic. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is, um... This is just how... Yeah, I think, though. I mean, like, like I said, they're free to, like aim to become a professional gamer or like go to whatever school they want to because i'm not going to be like you have to go to like a good school if they want to go to like a professional gaming school like a streaming school or like a you know voice acting school or whatever if they yeah. want to do it sure but then show me results first you know yeah. i don't want yeah. them to be like oh i just want to do it and then half-ass their way into just doing it and then you know fuck their whole life up because of it you know if they can show me that they have passion and they want to do it then i'll support them you know, if they're like, hey, dad, can you, like, buy me this because I need it for what?" I'll be like, fuck it, dude. I'll flick my card out and I'll tap it. Let me do it, okay? Sure. Yeah. But, but at the same time, if I'm like, but, you know, make sure to get good grades this term, you know, and if, if he can't do it, then I'll have to be like, look, he didn't promise me this, so I'm going to have to, you know, take away this for a while. Make sure you can prove me next time is sure. how I would yeah. like to treat my kid. Yeah. What about, what about you? How would you, how would you like to treat him? I think people that are like phenomenally talented mm -hmm. have the luxury of like not putting in full effort and still having like 
Mm, that's actually true. Though. Stuff to show for it, right? Mm. And I'm not arrogant enough to think that, like, any, like myself or anybody related to me, mm -hmm. whatever in that situation, would be like talented enough to do that, right? Mm -hmm. But I do think that anybody in this world, mm -hmm. and this might be like a really naive way to think, mm -hmm. if you go all in on something, you can mm -hmm. do like crazy shit. No, like you if can, you definitely. if you just like realize like yeah like let's let's throw away like the safety let's throw away like mm -hmm. the backup plan and just go like all in on something and i'm willing to like freaking die as long right. as i could do x right mm -hmm. you can do like crazy stuff no you are absolutely right i absolutely agree <laughs> and, with you yeah and so like if i had a if i had a i can't <sighs> I can't even imagine having a kid. <laughs> but like right. if I had a kid and the kid mm -hmm. was like, I want to be a pro gamer. Mm -hmm. It's like, you can be a pro gamer. But the second I see you not giving your whole fucking mm -hmm. ass, mm -hmm. I'm withdrawing all support. But if you are willing to like die to become mm -hmm. a pro gamer, I'm behind you like 100%. Right. But I will not, I will not give my support to somebody that's not giving their whole ass. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel yeah, like, yeah. no, that's very, like, a base way of thinking. And I think that's very cool. But I feel like this, like, the, what what, did you, what do I call it? The pessimistic side or, like, the worry side of me comes in when it comes to that. Yeah. Like, if it's my life, I feel like it's fine. You know what I'm saying? If it's, like, my life and I get to choose, I will dedicate everything into sure. one thing. Yeah. But I feel like it's because it's my kid's life, right? Like... I understand there's a saying, you know, like kids aren't born to do what you couldn't do and stuff, right? I totally understand that phrase and all that, yeah. but I feel like it's my kid's life and I do have some sense of responsibility that if I do funnel everything into one thing and if it doesn't go well, then all that fault is not going to be on the kid, but on me. And yeah, I, I feel yeah, like the responsibility. Is yeah, not only not yeah. only the responsibility is, but you fuck that kid's like life up. There is a chance, right? Like, for example, let's just say you put every single like power of and time of yours and the kids into let's just say soccer right let's just say he's like a messy skilled like player <laughs> messy. right yeah, yeah, yeah. but then he gets injured right and he can never play soccer again well what is he gonna do now like yeah sure he can become a coach and all that there's like options but like you built him into becoming that and it didn't come it's like luck right it's, it's luck based obviously so you can't complain about it but True. I feel True. like, you know, when that happens, it's like your kid, like, you're going to feel very guilty. And it's not like I don't want to feel guilty or like, and all that, but, you know, I just That's want... That's family's for, though, right? Yeah. Like, when, when people get knocked down and they mm. need, like, somebody to lean on, it's good to have family. And it's mm. just like, yeah, 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 you could, you could, you have a place to sleep, you'll always have food to eat. Mm. But I do think the mindset of, like, being... Right. That's, like, the number one reason why a lot of people don't really, like, hmm. live up to, like, everything that they're capable of doing is because of, like, instead of jumping in 100% and giving it 100%, you dip your toe, you dip your toe, yeah, yeah, you no. try a little bit, and it doesn't go out the way that you want it to go, so you hmm. just, you back up, and you're like, okay, I guess this is not for me. It's like, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, no. Yeah. You, have to, you have to keep going at it 100%, and don't be afraid of being... Right, like fuck the doubters, fuck the doubters, and I, yeah. I feel like you just have to ignore that and like not be afraid of being bad at something. Hmm. No, totally, I understand you. Like, yeah, it's, and it's that difficult. would be like the number one thing that I want to impart on somebody that mm. I am responsible for is just like don't, ignore, ignore that. Mm, and just, I will. No, no, but I totally understand. Yeah. You. If the kid comes up to me, right, and it's like, <clears throat> I fully want to dedicate it, right. If they're like, yeah. but they're going to have to show show it to me since a young age, right? They're going to have to. And I will yeah, have fair. to have it, like, they will have to be mature enough. Like, even though they're five years old and they, they're telling me they want to become a professional so like soccer player or like a professional yeah. gamer, they will have to talk to me like they are an 18-year-old kid. I know it's a lot to ask, but they will need to if they want to prove that much sure. to me, right? Yeah. And they're going to have to sit down with me, be an adult, and be like, look, dad, I want to do this, and this is going to be my dream. And I'll, I'll never call quits on it, right? And yeah, then yeah. if he quits any time, right? Then I'm going to be like, I am never giving you another yeah. chance. I got to be yeah. like that. I got I to no, be fair. Free. Like, But that's only if I'm going to be like, you don't have to study. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do what? 
just focus on gaming then. Then, like, I'll be, like, that strict. But if it's, like, you know, I'll do my studying as well. I'll do this. I'll, like, as long as he maintains a pass, right, in my books. Like, he doesn't need to get a fucking high distinction, you know, distinction. Or, like, whatever. As long as he gets a pass, right, I'll be like, okay, do whatever you want. <laughs> just pass your course get a fucking degree so like no matter what happens if you like fail at your gamer sports thingy or you fail becoming an athlete you can always lean, lean back to getting a degree and getting a job right then I'll be cool with him <laughs> him or her doing whatever yeah. can I ask you a question mm -hmm. about yeah. like Northern Elysium yeah um is there no system in Northern Elysium that lets people like older like go back to school and oh get, no 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 like... we can yeah we, we're allowed to go yeah. back if we're yet older so <clears throat> oh so I, you're thinking I about that i feel like a lot of a lot of younger people that like right out of um like mm -hmm. secondary school i think it's mm -hmm. called right mm -hmm. they go to college and they're like not ready for it no they're like not. a university no, yeah. education mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I honestly think that, like, the mindset of, like, giving 100% is more important than, like, it getting is. there quickly, mm. right? It so is. if you try to be, if you have a kid that's trying to be a pro gamer and they give it 100%, but they just, like, don't have, like, mm -hmm. the innate reaction time and the innate, like, hand-eye coordination mm. and they don't make it, I would never, like, be like, oh, you're not good, mm. right? No, I understand. It would just okay. be like, good, you gave it 100%. Now you can apply that to whatever you want to do next and then you just keep doing that and eventually you'll find something that like because you're giving it a hundred percent you're just better than everybody else it's just half-assing right. it because they're too afraid to give it their full ass no then... i totally understand yeah 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 no i i like that is true i feel like like regardless the mindset of whatever is do. more important than like the, the goal. results yeah yeah exactly. the result yeah the exactly. mindset if you've got the if you've got the try hard mindset eventually mm -hmm. you're gonna hit gold no i, I don't and, and you just gotta be patient <laughs> That is yeah. true. I mean, that can be applied um, with, I mean, joining um, Hollow or um, other companies exactly. just in general. Because I'm, yeah. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure we know and you guys in chat know that there has been people that applied like more than like three or like even more than that, you know, many times. Yeah. And it's the mindset, right? Of not giving up, keep trying, trying to get better, showing like better results. And some people does end up getting, you know, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's important. <laughs> yeah. I like actually sometimes I feel bad about that. I feel like I mm -hmm. do you ever feel like this? I feel like I took someone's spot. Do you ever feel like that? Because we're in like the same boat. Mm -hmm. right? like, well, sometimes sometimes I like I'm laying in bed and it's like I took someone's spot and they could have been better than me. And it's just like, oh, no, not really. I don't feel like bad because the moment I feel like I feel bad is like I'm looking down on myself and I mean, oh, I, uh, I non-stop look down on myself. <laughs> no, I feel like that's fine. I look down on myself time to time, but then I feel like if I look down to myself, that itself is like a disrespect to the people who couldn't make it in. 100%. You know? Because yeah. yeah. like they work their asses off trying to get in too, but I work my ass off too. And I made it. And then if I'm like, oh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have been there. You know, it shouldn't be someone else. I feel like, you know, they'll be like, shut the fuck up. You got in. Work your ass off. You know? <laughs> be the man. You got in. Stop fucking complaining. Work your ass off. You know what I'm saying? This is, that's how oh, I, definitely. yeah, that's how I, that's why I like work so hard because it's just like, I can't half ass it, especially because it's like, I don't, yeah, know, we, I don't know if I should be here. So it's I mean, just like, we are coming yeah. up with some great stuff, you know, coming up. So, oh yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah. it's funny. Cause you know, the Tempest <laughs> Gen 1 boys, like I talked about this. Okay. I talked about this in like my membership stream, but I'll talk. I feel like, you know, for our gen, like we have like our rough edges, you know, and whenever we feel like we need someone to like lean on or like we need someone to talk to, I feel like that person is out there. Definitely. In my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I would is agree. Out there. Like, you know, no matter like what the situation is, out there is always calm and collected. Is I feel like, you know, he's the youngest out of all of us, right? He's 22, right? But like the man is insanely wise you know what i'm saying he's yeah he's yeah. just yeah the the youngest but the wisest which is why he's the leader right and i was like okay it's like yeah tempest hq out there but then i was talking about the second gen boys like who would be the pillar of the second gen boys now, me personally i think it's gonna be shinri what do you think vesper uh let me think about that i feel like when they encounter a big wall that they need to overcome. I feel like Shinri is going to be 
the guy to push them over the wall and break that wall. I, I see Shinri as being like the key support. I don't know mm -hmm. if the support should be the leader. Oh. I think the best leader is the one that... All right. I think I, I think I told this to Altera when we did our interview. Like, God, that was like, doesn't that feel like a freaking lifetime ago when we were doing <laughs> it was like, ages that was ago. like yeah. our first month or second? Yeah. I don't think I don't think the right leader is the one that's like making the right decisions. Mm -hmm. A lead like everybody's oh, gonna yeah. be no, wrong. No. Shinri is right? not Shinri is like not gonna make a decision. He's gonna lead them into the right decision. Is what I'm gonna say. I think yeah. Like Chad is saying this, but like they feel like bet. I feel like yeah. I'm with you guys, Chad. I feel like Bethel is gonna come up with the idea. But the idea is going to be in the wrong direction, I feel like. And then Shinri is going to pave the right direction for them. And then they're going to be able to carve it, is what I think is going to happen when they encounter uh, the wall. Maybe, maybe. Mm. I, I honestly think that, like, the best leader is, like, one, like, decisive. They will make the decision because I think human nature mm -hmm. is just, like, scary to make a decision. Especially if you're responsible for other people's, like livelihoods it's scary to make a decision so i think one is like to be a true leader like you have to be decisive which means you have to be able to make decisions uh -huh. two you have to realize that like you're gonna be wrong mm -hmm. it's not a leader's role to always be right, right. it's a exactly. leader's role to be always pointing in the right mm -hmm. direction well said yep totally. and, and for that i think i gotta give the props to battle Oh, I think Shinri right. is like number one support, like mm. no question. Mm -hmm. Like he'll always be the one that like helps the other boys along. But I think like Betel is going to be like the one yeah. that's keeping them in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I talked about it. Like, and I don't think he'll beat himself up too much when he's like inevitably wrong. Like mm. once in a while, like, yeah. Every everybody's wrong once in a while. Mm. It's like you know, like it's like games as well, right? I mean, like we've we've played Apex, so I think you know. But like, you know how like. Um, in Apex, you have like an in-game leader, right? Like the one guy yeah. which does the call out, and then you have like the two players, right? With ah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, you yeah. do like the in-game call out, but the IGL is not always correct, right? Then yeah. the, the, like they make correct decision at times, but they make wrong decision at times. And but even as an IGL, there are moments where your brain just freezes, and you're like, oh, I don't know what the fuck to do, man. And like, yeah, yeah. And I feel like, sh like, so that I feel like that's battle IGL. You know, he's like, oh, you know, we should do this, we should do this. But then he's gonna hit a wall one day, being like, oh man, yeah. I don't know what to do. And then that's when Shinri's gonna step it up, for being sure. Like, yeah. yeah. And then it's gonna be like, oh, boys, I think like we do this. And then they all agree with that, and they're gonna like come over it. And I feel like, like, here's the thing, like, Fleon and Haka are gonna be like the most like, what do you call it, flexible two. They are gonna be like water, you know. They're gonna, they're gonna be. I can see that. Yeah, I feel like that's I the power of those like two. just like very high spec. Mm, yeah, no. Oh my talented. god, did he do the like, debuts? Is cr the word crazy? Right? The downside of being like so high spec is that like you tend to be peaky, which is like when you're hitting like a low point, mm -hmm. it like affects you way more, right? Mm. No, but I, I don't mean. To, I don't mean to like. No, I totally no, understand. I don't, I don't think it's like down talking. Like you're mm. definitely like one of the most. You're you're definitely like extremely high spec from like the original oh, right. four, mm -hmm. which yeah, no, definitely like in terms of like the, okay, the amount of skills you. that you have, right? Mm. And I think because you've got a bunch of skills to rely on, like if you're ever if you ever encounter a situation where you don't have, you can't use any of the skills that you have mm -hmm. to help in that situation. I don't know how you would react to that because you oh, have like, right. mm. yeah, it, well, it's like the issue of like being too skilled at something mm. and not and not being able to react when, when like you don't have an opportunity to use your skills because like they don't really apply to the situation that you're in. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah, I I kind of understand when when um Why when it comes to no. He's still there. <laughs> Just leave it there. Yo. It's ah, like a, whatever, man. Yeah, it, it looks we're, nice. We're part of the Yaki Nuki yeah. where like we're both full and we don't <laughs> yeah, give a fuck. Yeah, we don't give a fuck. We just, just like, talk chill. and yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, yeah. but like, what's the, what's the word? I totally understand. Like I have in my life in general, like hit a wall where I just don't know what to do. Like I'm a pretty positive guy and I come up with like lots of different ways to do things and ways to look yeah. at things usually, right? Just because I'm like. I mean, being positive kind of gives you that power, you know. You 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 try to look at it in different like perspectives, mm -hmm. so like it will work with you. 
But then there have been times where I'm like, no matter how I try to look at it, it's like just purely shit, you know? I can't do anything. Yeah. What should I do? But when I hit that wall, I don't solve it myself. I get help, is what I do. Yeah. I ask yeah. my friends and I ask my family. And I, well, I didn't really ask my families back then. Now I do. But yeah, I ask my friends and like family in general. I'm like, look, yeah. I, I'm like at this point in life. What do you think? Like, because here's the thing, right? Like, I feel like, you know, getting different perspectives and opinions from other people is sometimes the biggest help that will, you know, lead you in the right way. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Or sometimes I'm just like, ah, fuck it. I'll just give up. <laughs> just like walk away from some, <laughs> some things. Some things I'm just like that, but yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it's good to have like perspective because people are like hyper focused and it's like, mm. I have to do this. And it's like, mm. do you actually have to do it? And they're like, yes. It's like, why? why? It's like, because I've invested too much. It's like, that's not a, that's not a good reason to like mm. go all in on something. Like, no, do you okay. actually need to do this or you will physically die? And they're like, well, no. And it's like, mm. yeah, then, then take a step back and, right. and I mean, I think walk we, around it. I think we can talk about this, but I feel like that was like the Tempest boys at, uh, in a, in like a nutshell at first like we were like trying to go so hard with like crazy ideas right like i mean you you, you guys go look at magni stream like um, judge maggie and like and <laughs> altair stream wheel of tempest and just all these crazy ideas we were trying to do but then like it comes to a point where you like run into a wall and it's like god this is like tough and like you need to take a step back like we were we kept trying to break that wall non-stop like bang 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 we kept hitting that wall but then we noticed that it kind of drains us in a way doing that too much, like too much, you know. It's like it's yeah. like it's like doing ex an exercise, you know. Like even in Ring Fit, I do it too. But like, if you don't take like a break between your reps and you just keep going nonstop, you're gonna die, right? <laughs> you're gonna get tired so so quick. It's true. Yeah. So like, it's important yeah. to take a step back, and then once you take a step back, you come back forward again. You know, take take a step back to walk two steps forward is how I look at things, you know. Some people yes. are like, I don't want to take a step yeah. back. I got to walk three steps forward. But I'm more like, take a step back and walk two steps forward. You know, I will be willing to take a loss if it's for the long run, you know, which is why I mean, look, this month and, you know, the upcoming month, we do have a lot of amazing things coming up, right? Like December and November has been a pretty tough month for us, but amazing yeah. stuff already come. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like, I mean, I, I'm like so I'm so happy for like the the new boys. Like I think like they they mesh well, you know. Like like you said, yes, it's good. the battle's the guy that's gonna be always like you know giving them like new insights and what's the word? Kind of like leading them in a way, you, as you said, keeping them in the right direction. Yeah, and like you know they're gonna make mistakes. They're gonna do things. We're like ah, we shouldn't have done that. But hmm. even if you're like going off to the side a little bit, as long as you're like in the same direction mm, it's kind of yeah, like well like it's not exactly. a big deal you can always like correct course it's only yeah. bad if you're going like the opposite direction yeah it's exactly. like ah damn yeah. like so i do think that leader should always be pointing in the right direction general mm. direction so that you yeah. don't have to like backtrack yeah and then like yeah. i feel like like shinri is like there for the greatest support right but here's the thing i feel like battle and shinri are like the type of people who are I i'm sorry if i'm wrong okay this is just what i think right from like yeah. how i've seen yeah. and how i've interacted it's like when something happens, they're gonna like kind of take it to heart in a way, you know. Like uh, they'll feel a bit yeah. bad about it, and they'll feel a bit down. And who is gonna be there for them? Is gonna be Flayon and Hacker, those like bratty ass. Those two <laughs> guys. They're gonna cheer them up so much. They're gonna be there, be like, guys, don't worry, you know, cheer up. Let's fucking go to, you know, let's try again. And they they're gonna they're gonna be the ones that's gonna lift them. They're gonna be like the heart, you know. It's good. Yeah, no, it's I important. Agree. They're needed. It's important. So like, you know, they did a great choice. Like like great job like you know picking the second boys it's amazing oh for it's sure they, yeah. yeah we we got some amazing like guys and it's, it's crazy dude uh, insane yeah oh uh, yo i have like another question that's what's up hey, if mate. you if you were right to get a son or a daughter uh -huh. which one would you uh -huh. want <laughs> oh, this, is, uh, this is a tough but i'm a guest on your stream so i gotta all right a son or a daughter okay um oh, all right, let me think about that it's not even within the realm of like actual possibility but let's mm -hmm. think about it like let's perform a thought experiment do you know what a thought experiment is thought experiment is it like it's like it's like an important thing in like of? science it kind of yeah okay. and it's just like listen 
it ain't real but if it was like you should be able to think mm -hmm. um like critically and and yeah okay yeah. let's let's think about it uh son or daughter and it's like only one right uh yeah only one yeah yeah he would have picked <laughs> in this state oh my god this is a tough one I don't want to elaborate on it <laughs> okay. okay I'm just gonna say it straight up I'm gonna speak from the heart right okay. in the state of our world right now mm -hmm. the way that like everything works mm -hmm. assuming that we're, like we're in Elysium mm -hmm. a son is just like easier oh okay i, I want see. my kid to have like the easiest life possible so it's just like yeah. oh, okay i see yeah that sounds okay well yeah me personally too i would have wanted a son as well so like, yeah i feel like here's the thing though like if i if i had a son like i want to be like like a good father figure you know i want to like spend lots of time with my son yeah i would want to i would want to be like a like a father like like my I want to become a. I want to be a father like like my dad. Like he's not the greatest uh, dad, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't make a lot of money, but he like I Yo, said. That... No, I'm gonna Come be honest. On. I'm I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be purely honest, okay? Because I, like I said, we were broke for like, I mean, we were broke for like days since I was born. Like he doesn't make a lot of money, but that man works. He works seven days a week. Yeah. From nine a.m. to eleven p.m. But that's he all he could ask for. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Which is why I'm saying I want to be someone like my dad. You know, even if I don't make yeah. a lot of money. I just want to be, you know, there for the family, work with them, you know, be a man, and, like, just, like, be, you know, someone that my son could look up to, you know, is yeah. what I want to be. Yeah. yeah. Like, I, I would play games with him, you know? I, I would lay down with him, play games with him, and fucking, you know, show him how Monster Hunter works or fucking Final Fantasy works <laughs> and stuff. Because that's what I used to do with my dad, you know? We would just be laying down on the couch, and then he'll be like, hey, you know, this monster, you can kill him like this. And I'll be like, oh, shit, that's so cool. I ought to do something like fair, that. Fair, 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 But, like, at the same time, that would just be in the early, like, like days of, like, my son's life, if I were to be, you know, my father. If, if when he got to high school, you know, like, in high school, we all have, like, moments where we become a baddie, right? Essentially, we have, like, the emo phase, we become a baddie, and we want to, like, <laughs> turn on our parents. Phase. Yeah, 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 yeah. We all have it, I'm pretty sure. But, like, I want to make sure that I approach it in a very mature, like, way, like, in a gentleman way, you know? Like, huh. if he's having a tough time, I'll, I'll, like, knock on the door, you know, and be like, hey, yo, son, you know, I want to talk with you, right? And if it's like, fuck off, dad, I'll be like, look, that's not a nice way to talk to me. <laughs> Do you want to do you want like a arrange a date where we talk? I want you to be a man, you know. I'll like here's the thing, right? If you give respect to your son in that way, like you treat him like an adult, like a man, then I'm pretty sure he will give you the same amount of respect. If you treat him like a kid, you know, like I feel sure. like he yeah. won't he won't want to like act like that, right? Because like you know, like I mean, this was just me, but like the teachers would use to treat us students like kids right oh you guys are kids but the principal of our school he would treat us like gentlemen he'll be huh. like when he talks to us he'll be like gentlemen what are you doing right and be like sir you're, you're in your wrong school uniform and when he talks with you in respect i feel like it kind of mind controls you into you giving them respect as well you know what i'm saying like huh i never thought of it that way I don't know. I would I, agree. I, I feel like it's a good way to like brainwash people or like mind control people in a way, you know, like gaslighting people. Like if you don't give them respect. Like positively gaslighting people. Yeah, positively gaslighting. It's like a feedback loop of like respect. Where it's yeah. just like, okay. Yeah. So I was Reverse like, gaslighting people. Hmm, Get in yeah. there. Like. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I mean, I feel like that's the same in any situation. For example, let's just see. Let's just say you get a girlfriend, right? And like. Let's say you get a girlfriend, you meet their dad, right? And he talked to uh -huh. You wouldn't be like an absolute like ass to him. Like being like, hey, yo, what's up, man? <laughs> you wouldn't do that, right? You'll be like, hello, sir. I'm like, you know, I'm like your your daughter's boyfriend, you know. And you'll be like very respectful to him, right? And then he will give you like the same amount of respect, I feel like, if you are respectful. So like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like... I wanna... I would... You reckon I'm wrong? <laughs> I don't think I don't think you're wrong. I'm just trying to like like wrap my head around that situation. Uh -huh. 
Well, I feel like the, the... It, it, it like really depends on the dude, oh, right? The that, dad, because like there's like there's like dads that would, that would just be like illogical, like to the extreme, and just oh. be, like no matter what you do, like they don't. But give I a mean, shit, illogical right? people are out of the conversation, right? Why the fuck are they in the conversation? Like illogical people just yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like I wouldn't but even. But in that case, it's just kind of like, what's the point in trying? Uh, and then mm -hmm. in the other extreme, it's kind of like, yeah, I I, I think I understand. <laughs> but yeah. like man for me like the number one thing that i can't deal with is like people that are completely set in their way and they have no interest oh, in no, communicating I, whatsoever I, and it's just kind of like i can't handle i can't handle that yeah no i understand you like yeah my dad's side's grandfather is kind of like that he really hates my father for some reason and it's like, if I die, all my belonging is going to my daughter, not you, son. Uh, like, yeah, yeah, I know you're like, about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, she doesn't have a family, like my aunt, right? She she lives alone. She doesn't have a family. But, like, my dad huh. has a family, right? It's, it would be more reasonable for my dad to get it, obviously, because he, he has a family, right? Like, I'm just being pretty reasonable here, like, in a logical way of thinking, right? And even my huh. aunt's like, yeah, I think you should give it to, like, my brother but then he's like no i'm not i hate him and like he'll like not you know i I, huh. I, don't, I don't like it when people like that as well i totally understand you it's like a spite issue right where there's no like mm. yeah no, I, but I, I don't i don't like my grandfather too much if i were to be honest like i mean i feel like there's some bad on my dad's end as well but my dad really wanted to become an artist right so he's yeah my dad really wanted to become an artist he wanted to go to like an art school but his grandfather was like, no, you're going to some good school and you're actually like learning a degree and you're not doing art because that's not going to earn you any money. And he was a very good artist. I have uploaded some art on like the Omni chat here, like rough sketches of Ooh. his that he's done in the past. I've uploaded. Hey, yo, like, yeah. I can't, I can't be a member, just like DM it to me. Mm. I'll show it I'll to you later. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but, like, yeah, yeah he's he's been doing here. that stuff and he <laughs> just. <laughs> I just love that. I don't have to pay shit. And I'm still getting what you get. I'm sorry. No, it's cool. Buzz. It's cool. Yeah, but yeah, it he, he was like, you know, he was telling me about like how his dad wouldn't like let him do stuff. So he really missed out on life and he can't go back anymore. And like, he totally can. It's never too late. I don't know. But, but like, yeah, he's just... dead. Like, that's my argument, right? It was mm. just like, it doesn't matter about like being safe and right, being like, yeah. it's more like if you're willing to give it 100%. Oh, yeah, exactly. And even if it doesn't work out, like, you can always like, backtrack and like you know yeah which is why i have stuff. i have like huge respect for my father in a way like yeah he's an idiot he's a fucking idiot you know he 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 was he like dropped out of uni as well and all that he's, he's a fucking idiot right but then at the same time he he's an idiot but he has a heart is like what i what i like about my father like yeah like him him and my mom are a bit different like my mom tries to look out for my best but in a different way they both look out for me in a like for my best but it was a different Fair. way my mom would be like i have to be super strict with him like even if he gets good i can't praise him so like he'll keep working hard he's got to be perfect so he gets she was kind of like that right but then i huh. kind of i kind of gaslit her at one stage in life like when i was in high school i got like she was like why are you doing so shit and I was like, because of you, your shit ass parenting. And Oh, you told me about this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. I like I remember that. Yeah. I was like I like had like the talk with her, right? Yeah, yeah. So like me and my mom had like this huge beef all the time. But my dad, right? Even with me getting into like, you know, VTubing, right? And like doing it like while I was like studying like uni stuff. I was like, oh this, that, like my dad was like, hey, you know what? It was like if you want to do it, just, like, do it, you know? I was like, give it a shot. It was like, I never got to do my art stuff, so I would like to see you at least, you know, get to do your stuff. It's just, like, have fun, but I don't really give a shit. <laughs> it's kind of like that. It's like... That's, it's like, like, incredible because I just, like, I can't even imagine my family knowing what I do. Oh, right. Like, I would, I would like, if they found out, I would walk into the ocean and just, like, <laughs> swim in. Don't and, die. Yeah. All right. That's I incredible. Mean, Wait, does that mean like my mindset is more similar to like your your pop? Right? I, I think yeah, your your mindset is similar That's to my pop a lot. Yeah. Huh. But I feel like it's a bit different in a way cuz you want like your your son or your daughter to like put everything into like, you know. Yeah. What's yeah. The word? Which is why like to 
to go back to the original question that you asked me, it was like son or daughter, and it's like, as a uh, parent, like I would want my kid to have the easiest life possible, so like mm -hmm. probably son. Uh, but the tryhard in me is like daughter, because they'll never see the daughter coming. Right. <laughs> no, I totally understand. That. They'll come like, in like sideways and they'll just like beat the shit out of everyone because like, hmm. yeah. No, I, I don't like, know. It's like the. <sighs> okay, here's another I, question. I like then, never make threats. Mm -hmm. I always like try to keep, catch people like unaware, right? Because mm -hmm. that's like the best moment where it's just like right. you got that alpha strike where they're not expecting it and then uh, just boom. And you, right. Yeah. The backstab anyways. kind of. In exactly. The back. Anyways, go on. Yeah. yeah. What was the other the, question? The question is, is that like if you had a daughter and a son, let's just say, okay, both of them. Yeah. Would you be? Would you treat them exactly the same, like how they yes. would grow up and stuff? Okay, that's pretty yeah. good. Okay, absolutely. Yeah. Right. I feel like I don't know. Like I'm not being sexist or anything. Okay, I'm just gonna put it out there first. I'm not being sexist or anything, but I think okay. I would be a bit stricter to my son than my daughter if I had a daughter. Huh. Because, yeah, I feel like um, like, you know, as a man. Okay, I, I think like a lot of dudes have like gone. I, I, I'm pretty sure some girls has gone through this uh, this as well. But we get a lot of shit, you know, just in work and stuff. We get like a lot of shit. like, I mean, this is just me. This is what I went through. But like, like just because I'm a dude, I had to, like take a lot of shit for some stuff. I don't know why. But they're like, you're a guy. You got to do this. You're a dude. like, and I, I feel like, you know, I want them to be mentally strong that they can take on that. You know what huh. I'm saying? Like, I've been like, you know, just doing some stuff, and I'm like, you know, my it's knees true, are my but... knees are aching, and then like I squat down a bit, and they're like, "You're a fucking guy, why can't you even do this?" And like they get so pissed at me, and I'm like, I'm like in pain, sir, you know, and I felt like very heartbroken when that happened to me when I was like, when I, when I was like in my teens, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And, like, I don't want, you know... And when that happened, you know, I was, like, in the phase of, like, like the depression phase, let's just say, right? It's like, yeah, toxic masculinity is exactly... It's, like, what was happening, right? So, like, I would want them to be mentally stronger, which is why, in a way, I might be a bit stricter with them. I'm gonna be, like, the world is gonna be tough. Like, it might be easy for men to get jobs, but, like, the way they treat you is gonna be pretty shit, you know, in certain jobs. So, like, you have to, like... Be mentally strong is what I want to, like, teach my son, you know, if I had a son. For I me, it would be, like, either or. Hmm. Like, if I want one of them to have an easier life and not treat them that way, where, like, I'm berating them if they have, a, like, a setback, then both of them would just be like, I would never do that. I would never be like, ah, it's, it's, get up, like, this is easy, like, you're weak. Like, I wouldn't do that to either. Oh, I wouldn't or, do that, yeah. if I'm, like, tryharding... I would be like uncompromising to like both of them. It would just be like you're better than this. Like mm. I know you're better than this. Like, oh get yeah, up. that's like, that's what I'm yeah, saying. That's what I would. So be. it's just like a mix of both, where it's just like I don't really see the difference either way. Mm. Like I would either be like completely soft and just be like yeah, do whatever you want, or I would be like yeah. completely hard and it's just like you. I don't care what you do. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you want to be like a knitter mm -hmm. or like a nuclear physicist mm -hmm. you're gonna have to be the best at whatever you do and mm -hmm. like that's equal to me mm. yeah right and it's just like just be the best at whatever you do and i don't care what no, it is I totally or understand. it's just kind of like just have fun i don't care mm, yeah. that's like my dad yeah my dad's like just have fun i don't care as long as you're having fun you know it's cool yeah because my dad didn't get to have fun apparently. and to me it's like something. it doesn't it doesn't really matter either way it's mm. just like yeah i can't even wrap my head around like which one i would do i think mm -hmm. Probably try hard. Mm -hmm. Probably like try hard. Right. Like no, the, that's totally the good. terrible good like though. experience that you had where like people were like getting down on you. That's pro that would probably be me. Mm. But I wouldn't push you to do what I wanted you to do. It would just be like, what do you want to do? And you were like, oh, I want to be a VTuber or mm -hmm. I want to be a pro gamer. I'd be like, yeah, cool. But you're going to give me a hundred percent or I'm not going to give you shit. Like, mm. No, <laughs> that's like, that's fucking back suit. That's so base. Yeah. I totally understand. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, like you said, though, like how I would treat things, I would be like pretty much exactly the same as you. Like, instead of me being like, don't cry, like, you know, work hard. I won't say that. I'm going to give them in a positive way. I'm going to like, buddy. Oh, yeah. You can do better. I know. You're my son. You are going to do so great. 
But, you know, if you keep slacking and if you like keep whining about it, nothing's gonna change. You gotta suck it up. Yeah. And you gotta you gotta you gotta keep at it, you know? Yeah. This is how I'm gonna be like what's the word? Like pushing my kids if I got kids. Basically. Yeah. yeah. And then if they do have like a mental breakdown, then I'll be there for them. You know, they can call me. Whatever. They can we can go for drinks. You know, dad and son <laughs> moment, right? Going out for a drink, being like, man, like, oh, this happened. I'll be like, oh, well, son, you learned the, you learned about the tough reality. This is what we're going to have, you know. And it's going to be like life's, life's full of that, you know. No matter what stage of life you're at, you know, there's going to be people that are going to treat you like that. And you're just going to have to learn to think in a way that these people, okay, I'm going to be honest with you guys. These people, right, that looks down on you, always gives you, like, shit for, is not in a good situation themselves, which is why they do it to you, right? Yeah, They're going to try to bring you down because they feel shit. So you always just got to make sure, think about it. Just be like, just pity them. Be like, man, I feel bad for these guys that they have to do this. Well, I guess I'll just do my best. And, you know, ta-da, just like that. Don't even let them get yeah. to you. You know, don't let, don't let them get to you mentally. And that's... For me, it's yeah? like... So imagine, like, people walking in a line, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's two types of people. There are people that, like, look behind them and they see the people behind them and it makes them feel good about themselves right mm -hmm. and there's people that look ahead of them and they're like how can i catch up to that person mm -hmm. and it is always better to be the guy that's looking yeah. ahead yeah it is definitely. and the people that are talking shit on you are always the ones that are looking behind them because they need to prop up their shitty self-esteem and just yeah. be like oh i'm not doing that great but at least i'm a i'm ahead of the guy behind me yeah, and they always and get if you're the guy behind them <laughs> mm. you're gonna pass them one day yeah. like as long as you're always looking forward and it's just like yeah screw exactly. that person. i mean i mean there's a story of the the bunny and the turtle right you know you know that story yeah. how like it's Tortoise exactly it. yeah it's, a good story. It, it's exactly yeah. it's, it's that you know it's just that yeah but like always look ahead yeah. Always look at the people that are better than you. Like, a little bit better than you. Don't look at the people that are, like, have finished the race, because that's just going to depress you. Look at the person that's, like, just ahead of you. And then be like, I don't need to beat the guy in first place. I just need to beat the guy, like, ahead of me, mm. next in line. And then, yeah. like, you just, and then you just do just that over and over and yeah, over again. Exactly, and then you'll catch up. That's that's just yep. life, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. I feel like it, it's insane, you know, because, like... Like, you can start off, like, somewhere so small in life. Like, like I mean, that was for me. I was, like, a broke-ass kid who used to have $5 a day for a meal. I didn't even yeah. have my own PC, right? I used to use, like, like a family PC to play games and stuff. And just by working, you know, and working on my stuff, doing what I like, I was able to become a Holostar just one yeah. day. So, <laughs> I tell you, like... It's like not sussy, but it's kind of like on the borderline of like, I don't yeah. know if you tell people that because it's like not a, uh -huh. I built my very first like personal PC for like gaming and stuff like that mm -hmm. by writing other people's essays for 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. What the fuck? People's essays and then like they got to turn it in and mm -hmm. then like they gave me 20 bucks and I did that over and over and over again until I I had enough money to build my own PC. Bro, that's hustle though. <laughs> Which that's is like super hustle. Cheating kind of I don't I might get fucked but whatever. Nah, that's buzz. fine, dude. Come on, dude. It's... Yeah, they're not gonna clip this. Like yeah. the axle levels are like they're good. Yeah. They're not gonna clip it and, and they're not gonna. They're I mean, gonna even squeal. if you even if it, squeal, right? even if it was clipped, right? I don't think it's much of a problem, anyways. I mean. Mine was like in a different way. I used to work at like a restaurant, right? Okay. This was like when I was like 15, like 14 or something. I used to work at a yeah. restaurant. And oh I... shit, you could work at 14? Yeah. It's like can, illegal. Yeah, we... in, oh, in it's, it's, other it's legal. Yeah, it's legal. You can start working oh, okay. like at 13, I think it was. But yeah, so I was like Shot. working. Okay. Yeah, um, it was like my like first like official like job. Like I, I have had, I've done like other stuff that like, you know, like my like dad's friends like restaurant just helping him out and stuff but like like my first official job i had there right i'm gonna yeah. be honest with you it was like handing like you know cash in hand because they they want to evade taxes those guys you know what i'm saying <laughs> i'm gonna be i'm gonna be dead on soon it's like cash in hand but you know i still yeah, work yeah, for it because yeah. i mean that's the only way i could get money but like i got like 13 bucks an hour right because like north Elysium, we do get paid like fairly well even with like you know 13 bucks isn't much in north Elysium, but you know it is money it's good. Yeah. And yeah, I really wanted like a PS4 
back in the days, I wanted to play uh, 2K okay. NBA. Yeah, I wanted to play 2K NBA, and I saved up 600 bucks, right? Woo. So that is like how, how much? I don't know how, how many hours. Like I, I can't, I can't calculate. 13, 13 bucks an hour. You didn't pay tax. So uh, yeah, like I don't pay tax. Up. Yeah, straight up. How many hours is that? I don't. 30 for 10. I forgot. 26. Like, uh, my, 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 my brain. My brain is like 20. 46, 40. is it? I was saying 46. Something like that. Yeah, like between 40, 45, and 50 yeah, hours. I, yeah. I still remember I, I worked all that in like one or two weeks. I think I think it was in one week, actually. I went crazy with that job. <laughs> and then I bought my fucking 2K NBA with my PS4 like four i remember huh. it was yeah i still remember it was like a it was like a good yeah it's good not even stuff, a, good stuff yeah no ps4 back in the days no I'm, it's, it's not back in the days like i i i play i played the most games on ps1 matter of fact actually i played a lot of games yeah i felt incredibly old when you're talking about like bootstraps bootstrapping your way to a playstation 4 it's like wow no, I am that. disintegrating into dust because <laughs> I am an ancient piece of shit. No, but like, I used to play on the PS1 a lot because of my dad's, like, um, what do you call it? Because of my dad? Like, he used to play dude, all the Final Fantasy the PSX, series. Good yeah, stuff. Dude. Yeah, I love that the console. Um, it's so good. You know, like, the OG, like, Final Fantasy 9, like, 7, 8. 9, yeah, yeah 7, 8. But, yeah. you know, I couldn't play, like, I think I told you this, but, like, I couldn't play, like, 9. Like when I was a kid, the reason why is because like after the evil forest, you know how there's like a cutscene where they have like you sleep. Told me. It's like yeah. a scratch disc, right? Yeah, it's a scratch <laughs> disc. It was a scratch disc, and like they sleep at the tent, and then they're like, "Oh, I'm gonna show you what this like a Moogle communication thing is." You know, like the Moogle. What do you call it? They had like the Moogle thing, right? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. It yeah. like it like changes scene, and then it just freezes, and it never loads. <laughs> oh no! So I remember I grinded up to like level thirty or something or forty when I was a kid in the evil forest, just beating these small fucking monsters because I was having fun. And I loved it. Oh I my remember. god, dude! And you like, had like the proto MMO mindset where you yeah, just like, All dude, right. it was so yeah, yeah. so it was so fun though. Like, which is why like. And Evil Forest has like a special place in my heart, and Final Fantasy IX has a special place in my heart. You know, like it, it's, I mean, like, like you know, I think I talked about it in the D and D. You know, like at the, the end of D and D, remember I talked about it, Vesper? Oh like, yeah, 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 yeah. It was yeah. like running away from the Evil Forest, like went blank, whereas the continental <laughs> map is like he like knocks Zidane over, gets caught by one of those like warrior beetles, and like throws like like the continental map to like Zidane and then like he catches the map and runs off dude that scene I, I love it dude it's an amazing scene <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's so cool ah oh, uh, gaming I yeah. fucking love gaming dude what what did you did you see the like the the the, the what was it the fan video that someone made for us for the d and <sighs> I think I saw you like retweet it. I was like, I was looking. Like, it was so no cool. Shot. Gonna, yeah, it's yeah, so yeah. cool. Someone's making like a, a, I think they were making like a game out of it or something. But it's insane. Yo, if 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 you're in here in chat, dude, you are fucking amazing, man. Yeah, it's crazy. He was so cool. Woo. Actually, yeah. I'm gonna use the bathroom. Okay, right okay, back. go for it. Go right. for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll be right. I'll be right. Yeah, go for it. Uh, I left for an hour. Is it that the same? Yeah, it's the same piece of meat. It's just the peepee shaped meat. Yeah. Oh, this is so fun just having a chat, you know. This kind of, this kind of chat with, with... I've never really done, like, a one-on-one -on -one with, like, Vesper after that... What do you call it? Um, interview meeting? Uh, I've never really done one with him. Because, like, our streaming time is so different. He streams at, like, 3 a.m. And I stream at, like... Like, lunchtime my time. So it's, like, so different. So... It's insane. Yeah. We're having so much fun. <laughs> Don't hit your head again. I I I think he's gonna come back and he's gonna be like, ah, oh, hit my head. <laughs> I can I can imagine. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, um, you know, I'll, I'll go back to it because I think um, there's a lot of people here and there right now. Um, um, off collabs coming up. You know, we're gonna be doing like a six month anniversary anniversary like collab for the Tempest Boys uh, HQ headquarters. Tempest Boy. And then during February, we're going to be doing uh, me and Vespers, like one on one off collabs. So please stay excited for that. Yeah. 
at least excited. We do have a lot in plan. It's gonna be amazing, yeah. Hmm. Actually, had that tweet stream. That is true. Before RPR joined, that is true. Before RPR joined, me and Vesper was playing. That is true. That was one of a. That was one of like the great like known streams as well. You know, me, Vesper, and RPR's first stream, just like drunk and just going all out, unhinged as hell. <laughs> I still love that thumbnail, like how I drew RPR. <laughs> the molding RPR. <laughs> that 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 collab went for like eight hours or something, didn't it? Like six hours, eight hours or something. I, I can't tell you guys what we're gonna be doing for the off collabs, but they will be they will be interesting, is what I'll say. It will be interesting. Alright okay, guys, thank you so, so much for all the super chats and membership gifts. I appreciate it. I'm sorry I couldn't read it all. I would like read it like at a super chat reading <laughs> stream or something. Oh, welcome back. Can I you think I'm head? I have to do a super chat reading too because I did my Zazadan <laughs> oh, yeah. when I came back and I was like sh wasted and I just like, couldn't keep up. Oh, we can, we can it, like, got kind of crazy. I'm scared to like look at like, I'm scared. Oh yeah, dude. I was watching your stream and I was like, holy fucking Aka Supers, man. You're getting like nonstop. I'm, I feel, I'm like sobering up now. I feel like I'm, I'm back down to buzz level and it's mm -hmm. just like, I ignored so so many people welcoming me back and this is like oh, oh my god well, i f feel like an asshole no, here's the thing okay i'm gonna be dead honest with you okay i'm gonna be dead honest with you like, yeah, I, yeah. um i'm gonna be like well this is like if i was a viewer again okay? if i was sending super chats like yeah yeah i feel like it's much better the way you did it rather than just reading super chats non-stop because like they're, you know, they want to hear about what you're doing and how you were doing, right? So, like, I understand <laughs> reading Super Chats is cool and important, but at the same time, I was like, ah, you know, like, ah, what's the word? Like, um, like, they want to hear about what you did, you know, how you're feeling, reading everyone, instead of being like, hey, Mr. Mr. Axolotl, or hey, Mr. You know, Wagyu Beef, thank you so much for the Super Chat. And then just reading it nonstop, I feel like we just kind of make it's them true. feel yeah so i feel like i mean if it's like if you're like usually streaming and you get it once in a while it's like i feel like it's totally fine but it's like yeah. on your returning don't worry about it dude. don't worry about it dude. no problem man. i might i would have to whip out the old like super chat thank you like <laughs> type stream like mm, i've yeah. been trying to avoid that because i have such like high standards for my own content and it's mm -hmm. like if i feel like a an individual that's just like this is boring as crap it's like i don't want to do it right and it's well, just like, I have to do my best, but like, I might have to do like a thank you stream. <laughs> I, I feel like, feel like, hey, to feel free, like, not to show up because I'm just going to be thanking people. No, I, I feel like, know. um, what's the word? Like, what's important is like, I mean, it's like a balance of everything, right? Like, I sometimes do super chat reading, and I feel like even though it might be boring for most like casual viewers, like, I think there are people that come here and, you know, it's like it's good to appreciate them once in a while right not always once in a while is very yeah. important so i feel like it's totally fine yeah like i don't think it's that bad like usually you know for example the people who don't super chat or has no interest just won't watch it but like those people who does super chat you and are like member to you or whatever will still come and watch you know and they'll still love to hear you so i think it's totally fine it's like once in a while as long as you don't do it like every day you know <laughs> it's like every day so yeah. it's like totally fine yeah there's definitely like a way to do it that's like super entertaining and i've mm. seen other people do it right. i just can't do it yet and mm. i feel like okay. from my mindset i wouldn't want to unveil it until i've like mastered whatever technique is required to do that right so like my mindset is like functionally the best way to do it now is just like thank everybody as like it shows up and get it out of the way mm -hmm. but like people like fall through the cracks sometimes it's just like ah. right that's where like we're not perfect at what we do like we're all like mm -hmm. i i told i said this once and it like got people like super pissed off mm -hmm. but i like i stand behind it i feel like vtubers in general mm -hmm. are very like young as content creators mm -hmm. and like they don't we have a lot of like space to grow mm -hmm. and do, it doesn't definitely. matter if you're in like holopro which mm -hmm. is like in my humble opinion like the top of the top right mm -hmm. like the best mm -hmm. still got a lot of places to grow and no like i you, totally you understand can't, you no, can't it's yeah it's the exact same thing we were talking about before look right like 
even though we're like hollow pro like top of the top like you said like we gotta keep be looking forward being like how can we beat this person what can we and do? And you have to you like know? improve, right? The yeah, craft. Like exactly. it's not going to be good. You could make it better. And yeah. it's like, you don't have to make it perfect. It just mm. needs to be better than how it was well, last yeah, No, week. no. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. When it comes to like VTubing and your own passion, right? If it's, this is what I'm going to say. If it's your passion, right? Don't think of beating someone else when it's your passion, but think of beating your current self is what, yes. I, yeah, what I feel like absolutely. is important. Because like, look, I mean, there's much, like there's a, bunch of streamers there's a bunch of vtubers or just youtubers in general that has much more numbers than us right but yeah if you're looking to beat them like only like you're not gonna get anywhere you know you're not gonna be entertaining you're just gonna be looking at numbers pointless fucking useless but if you look at how you can change yourself and become a better version of yourself like your numbers are just gonna come with you you know like yeah if yeah. you yeah just becoming a better self, like your numbers will come with you. So I don't feel like it's too much of a worry, honestly. It, yeah. It's also like there's a bunch of variables that are like out of your control. So like, what if you put on like a ten out of 10? like Judge Magni did really really well <laughs> by numbers, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But even if it didn't, and it was just like average, mm -hmm. it's still like a ten out of ten concept. Yeah. It's like that. Right, like yeah, exactly. you, I watched that. I actually watched the vod for that like three mm -hmm. times. Mm -hmm. And it's just like fucking hilarious every time. And it's like, this was yeah, a I good understand. stream. It was good content. Mm. And like, that's more important than like, just like a, a number on a screen, mm. right? Mm. If I can rewatch a VOD more than once, then it's like, that was it's a good stream, content, regardless yeah. of like what the numbers were, right? Exactly. <laughs> and I very rarely rewatch any of my oh. streams more than once. So like, that is good. similar to mine. Yeah. Like when yeah, I do a right. good stream, though, I do look back at it and I'm like, oh, that was a pretty good stream. You like, can rewatch it like twice, right? It's yeah. Just like, Damn, that's a good stream. Like, Damn. Um, this is like my visual novel streams. I like my visual novel streams. I'm gonna be honest. I look back at it. I'm like, yo, I was an idiot, man. Look at this dumbass talking. But he's a funny dumbass, so I like him. I just look back at mine like that. I rewatched your needy streamer streams. Like, oh yeah, <laughs> like three and a half, four times each. Uh -huh. And it's like, shit, I want to play it now because it's too crazy. Like, oh, it's fun. You should play it. Play it. But dude. I didn't want to step on your toes. It's like, I'm oh, not gonna no, play no, it because no. I, do I already, like, already. Here's the thing. I already cleared it. Okay. I already cleared it, but you, like it's you can't just about like you clearing it. It's also like that's no, your thing. Oh, no, right dude, now. no, like like son, like dad. Okay, you gotta be like, okay, <laughs> my son went with this route. Now let's see what I go with, kind of style, right? In my mind, it's just funny because of like the sheer like insanity of me like managing and dating like a banana, <laughs> right? And it's just like, what the fuck? Dude. And like in my mind, it would just be like really funny to watch because dude, it's just, do like, it. let's go. It's like a different type of entertaining from the reason why, like, I watched your needy streamer over those uh, streams. Yeah. It's like mine would just be like, what? Okay, I'm gonna be dead honest with you. <laughs> it was very tiring, though. It it felt like I was <laughs> yeah. dealing with an actual girlfriend. It, it was very, yeah, yeah. it was very tiring. Like after the stream, I remember I was sitting there like empty-hearted. I was like, man, like, yo, I I feel like I don't know why, but I even made a tweet as like, I feel empty. And then, like, manager style was like, hey, yo, Axel, you feeling fine? And it's like, you want to go grab dinner with us? And I was like, bet, all right, we, I'm going. And I was <laughs> drinking that night. I was drinking that night, and I was at the dinner table. I was like, man, I'm in Chanyo that hole, man. And I was like, it, you know what manager son said? It's like, what? Axel, you got to stop saying ho on stream. And, like, you have a fair amount of female viewers on your stream. You got to stop saying that. But I'm like, hey, 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 hey. You know, hey, I was like, like dudes I'm not... can be hoes, all right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. I was like, what? Right. I didn't what call you, What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, what, exactly. what are they doing, like, picking on my boy Axel here? Yeah, like, anybody can like, be a hoe. You know, I, was like, I didn't and, call and my is Axel it bad to be a hoe? Sometimes a hoe is pretty cool, right? Ooh, like, yeah, you know, they on, got the options, on. you know? They got the options. Like, here's right, the thing. Right. Like, you, his... you call me up next time, and we'll, we'll like, lawyer the <laughs> shit out of Manichan and just be like, hey, what's wrong with hoes? Yeah. I don't know, man. Recently, I don't know why, but, like... Like the word ho, it, like I don't know why, but the sound of the word is like actually so catchy. I don't know the word is so catchy. I don't know why. Like I said yeah, it once yeah, to like yeah. my needy girl over the stream, and it like it just keeps coming back to me. I don't know why. <laughs> I have no idea why. It's fucking demonetized. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, like, well, no, it, it, no, it's cool. It's like a late night that's in that anyways. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like. Crazy funny, this is yeah. exactly what it feels like to be like drunk with a buddy mm. and like a like 
an empty, like a completely empty, like <laughs> restaurant. Yeah, it's like it's like nearly closing time, but we still don't leave it. We just drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and the waste staff is like, get the fuck out. Like, yeah. I want to go home. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. No, I totally understand. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, for example, I feel like this is gonna be a good stream to like watch back for like a lot of people, right? Because I think we, so too. Hmm, like. Yeah. Like I'll, I'll probably look back at it as well, you know. I feel like this is like a like a good good stream to like clip as well. So I think like, for example, I didn't really plan, you know, to like make like really good content, but like it just comes with it, you know. Like when you're a content creator, you know, you just keep working hard and it will eventually come. Like Bro, I didn't. I wish I, I wish I could think like you. I'm so like uh... I'm so neurotic and I'm so like I don't like leaving things to chance. Oh well, no, it, I don't like. like... <sighs> I don't really leave things to chance either, honestly. Like, I mean, I try to plan things out, and then if chance gets, if if God blesses me, if it's like, hey, yo, man, take some of my RNG, and he like blesses me, <laughs> then I'll be like, all right, all right, sir, I'll take that RNG and I'll, I'll make it my chance, you know. I feel like fair, fair. Yeah, I feel like you know, like, I mean, chance is everything in life. I feel like, like everyone's like, oh, you need the skills, you need like money and stuff but even you have all those i feel like the biggest no matter like no matter where you stand in life even if you're the richest person or like the poorest person if you have the biggest chance you can overtake someone i feel like true like yeah. chance is very important in life and but what's important like what's the most important thing is is that you have to recognize the chance like you can't just be like oh you know i have a chance Maybe I should take it. You gotta be like, oh, I got a chance. I gotta fucking take it. You know, you gotta like <laughs> go all in, grab it, strangle that motherfucking shit, and then, you know, make make the most out of it. Or like, because I mean, I've had I've had many moments in life where I didn't take the chance, you know? Like, I was like, oh, you know, it's, it's cool, but hmm. like, who knows, right? I could have even like, I could have maybe, I don't know, gone like somewhere else in life like maybe i could have became like a professional singer or done something else who knows but like you are a professional singer what are you talking about <laughs> am i am i <laughs> you get paid to sing and occasionally that you're you are a professional <laughs> that's per co copyright so I, I don't get the monetization <laughs> Right. <laughs> I feel like you, you definitely count as like a professional singer at this point. <laughs> like you definitely, okay. yeah. That's good, but yeah, like I know what you're talking about though. Like mm. it, it's all about uh, what was it called? Hmm. L luck is just the ability to like grab an opportunity, right? Because mm. you can get opportunities, which is like quote unquote luck, mm -hmm. but if you don't like grab it with both hands, mm -hmm. then the opportunity will pass you by and right. then it's no longer luck anymore, right? right exactly. Luck is like two parts. One is like, yeah, you need an opportunity to like come your way mm -hmm. and you might be waiting a long time because yeah. like you're unlucky and it takes a while. But like if if the if it hits, you get that opportunity and you're not ready to like mm capitalize and like grab onto it and like mm. and then it passes you by mm -hmm. were you lucky exactly no. right you're not like lucky. everybody that's like lucky like grabbed onto mm. it like when it passed by so exactly. it's like, like that's yeah like if you look at it like in a lotto right like you do a lotto right you just look at the result of the lotto and you're like man what if i picked that number i would have been lucky like it's just the exact same you know like yeah. you look at horse racing man i was thinking of picking that horse but i didn't they're not your then you're not lucky like you didn't pick it. You didn't. Yeah. Like exactly. it's like, and I feel like, once again, it comes down to like your, like, what, what's the word? Like decision making, right? It's very important. Yeah. Like decision making is gonna like play a huge role in life. Like no matter what. So like you you, you can't always be on the waiting end. You have to like, be on the end that grab stuff. <laughs> have you watched? Isekai OGs. Like, I oh, get, no, like, I haven't. I actually haven't. Before I went on break, like, a bunch <laughs> of Essies were like, that's you. You should watch that. Yeah. And then at first I was like, no, I'm never going to watch that. And then I ended up watching it. And, like, first of all, it's like, no, that's not me for a lot of reasons. Mm -hmm. But then the other reason is like, yeah, it's kind of me. Kind of. Oh. But, um, like, one thing that, like, really struck at me, and it, like, pertains to, like, what we're talking about right now, is, like, his, the main character, the Ojistan, his motto is, uh, every pinch, every, every, like, pinch is a chance, right? Mm -hmm. 
and it's like whenever you're in like a tough spot you could you should see that as like a big opportunity no, to like turn the, it around no yeah yeah no i yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's that's like it comes back to the fact where i was saying you know when when you're in like a shit place in life yeah you will come yeah. to appreciate it when you get to the better place in life so you you learn to work hard in life right because like if you're sh if you're feeling shit in life right like if you keep feeling shit and if you give up then that's that you know you can't change anything but you know, if you're feeling shit in life, you if you're in a shit position and you're like, I want to change this, I can change this, and you work hard for it, you're gonna like work very hard for it, right? Because you're obviously in a shit position. You want to get out of it, and yeah. when you get out of it, you're gonna like appreciate it so much, and that's like the biggest chance that you had in your life. hundred percent. Yeah. You being in that, yeah, like in that si the, situation. The worst position to be in is where like you're unhappy, but it's not shitty enough that like you feel the impetus for change right yeah the worst position where it's like yeah it's not great but it's not bad either i think mm. i'll just stick around and do this and then you yeah. look behind you and it's been 15 years and you're like mm. oh crap i wasted yeah. 15 years of my life in like a mid situation no I and now understand. but like if it's like super bad and you're like i have to change something then it's just like it's a it's a dice roll it's like you can you can go anywhere like you can be anything in like two years time right so it's just kind of like the mid is like the most dangerous place to be right but i feel like that's true but as long as you turn that 50 ears <clears throat> like you look back and you're like oh man this is like shit right but then if you change that into something not shit somehow it'll be for example right like uh, like I mean, I got into I'm I like saying, but like I, I used to, you know, like look at songs. I used to like sing a bit and like do a lot of different stuff with songs and stuff, right? For a while, yeah. and I was like, God, you know, I wasted so much money and time doing this for like a couple of years, man. You know, uh, yeah. what should I do? And then I was like, Oh, you know, maybe I could t use this and maybe apply for Hollow Stars. <laughs> Why not? And then you know that like one or two years of me just like you know playing around with the songs and having fun became an investment just like that with a click of a finger it became an investment so even though sometimes you feel some things are useless in life you can turn them into an investment like think of everything as an investment in life i feel like is very important in a good way to like not a bad way to look at it yeah i mean it's just even with the food you eat and stuff right like like yeah you eat like what's the word like I, I, I tell my viewers like what I spend my money on mostly right it's like food <laughs> I make sure to get good food right I mean sometimes I eat KFC and like very bad food too but right, right. a lot of the times I like to eat good food right it's like not expensive like food is what I mean I mean like healthy good food I like to eat it reason why is because eating healthy food just makes my mindset feel a lot better you know it makes me feel healthier making me feel what's the word like a bit more brighter as a person you yeah, know what I'm saying. Yeah. No, no, no. Like, yeah. Yeah. Eating healthier food is just like mm. it's good. It clears yeah. your mind and a lot. I yeah. would be willing to spend that extra ten dollars to get some food that is gonna be an investment to my mindset, rather than eating just you know, McDonald's every day. Like I'll I'll eat KFC you know once in a while or like once a week or something. <laughs> but but you know because it's because it's nice. It's a treat, right? Yeah. But yeah. most of the times you know you wanna you wanna like yeah. I mean even when I'm walking outside and stuff, I try to be like very bright about everything for example i'm when i was in high school what my mom used to always tell me was like axel why are you always looking down when you're walking right i was a person no, who always I used to do that too dude i like, used to yeah. always look down and walk but now every time i go out for a walk to the closest chickens fucking shop in like near my house i always look up i look up to the sky i just walk up i look at the trees i look at the sky i was like wow today's a very nice day fucking clear skies sunny and i feel like it just gives me more of a better like feeling it gives me like when i look just up it makes me feel better i don't know why it really does you guys should try it uh, out if you guys have never done it it actually does i'm not even kidding it does help yeah. no i still look down <laughs> <laughs> oh my. okay well maybe you could try look up vesper maybe not in japan though because i look just down good. i look at my phone right i look around Jump up, jump up, and get down. Anyways, uh, yeah. no, but uh, like nothing. Maybe, maybe not in Japan because there's too many buildings. Anyways, here, like you're gonna look up and you're gonna be like, "God oh, damn, that that building kind of tall," <laughs> you know. But if if, if it's like in North Elysium because we have a lot of nature, you know, in North Elysium, I feel like when you look up, it's just greens, you know, birds flying, like 
the blue skies. It's like, it just feels amazing sometimes, you know? It's the small things that you come to appreciate in life when it's like, when you're just going Fair. on a simple walk. Yeah. Fair. But for me, it's like, I see a bird and it's like, if I could, I would eat you. <laughs> oh no, Hakka. Watch out. <laughs> Hakka-san. It's like that. It's like the, Oh, there's already a bird in the birdhouse. Uh, dude, remember like, just, like eat the bird. Yeah. I, I think like you talked about it because I saw it like on Twitter. Someone talking about it, but like you, you said you wanted to like go to like Antarctica or something, right? <laughs> like, oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah that's a dream. You, you know yeah. what? You know, um, to chat because I don't think um anyone knows here in chat, but like Vesper when he mentioned, yo, I want to go to like Antarctica in stream. I was like. I wonder what penguins taste like. It's like, yo, penguin eating stream. It's like, we just have fucking... Bro, do you know how big they get? Like, especially like an emperor penguin? They're like crazy huge. No, aren't they like two meters or something? Yeah, they're yeah. like... In, no, not two meters, but like not they're like meter? insanely okay. huge. They're like a meter right. tall. Like up to a meter, I think. Oh, okay. Up to a meter, right. Two meters is like bigger than a human, but like oh. up to a meter. They're like gigantic. And it's right. like, what? God, but I do wonder what penguins taste like. What do you reckon? Probably like Fatty. a high amount of like, yeah, like fat content mm. to meat. Mm. That is true. Probably pretty good. Mm. We should do a stream where like cooking. No, we'd probably get arrested. I yeah, feel like we'll they're protected arrested. probably. Yeah, we'll probably <laughs> we'll get, get arrested. arrested. <laughs> you, know, you know, it won't be on stream because then they'll have evidence, but we'll do it like, <laughs> we'll do it on the down low, no, right? And nobody, no. Don't worry about it. I'm just, I'm just gonna say hey, that if I, if I come back from Antarctica and it's like here's meat don't tell me don't don't ask me where it came from and tell me what you think about <laughs> oh. it and then you eat it and then you don't have to know what it is it might be human it might be penguin oh, who knows goodness. right <laughs> yeah wow. shut like, up the flea uh, layer defeatable air red this is not evidence but you know you like have it, no you have, like it's not you'll never be able to catch me in the court of law don't worry about it and like North Elysium we are allowed to eat like kangaroos we do eat kangaroos in North Elysium. I've actually had a kangaroo myself. Matter of what fact. did it taste like? Um, it actually tastes like close to beef in a way, I guess, but not huh. really. So, like, here's the thing: kangaroo meat is very like weird. Like, if you overcook Gaming. it, yeah, if you overcook Gaming. it, it smells so bad. I don't know why. It just like sparks. Yeah. Yeah. But if you undercook it. It tastes like ab like it tastes like absolute shit and stinks as well. Like you have to get it huh. just perfect, or it's like it's weird, you know. Interesting. Yeah. <clears throat> My crazy uncle that lives in Alaska told me like chemically what makes meat taste like fart, which is gamey. Like That's when gamey. somebody says, "Oh, this meat is gamey," like what it means is like it tastes like fart. Uh -huh. That's what it tastes like. And and he taught me there's like a chemical reason why it tastes. I don't remember though because I wasn't paying attention. Because I was just like gnawing on meat. Right. I remember he was like, Does it taste gamey? There's a reason, right? And I was just like, It's meat. I eat it. And then I just ate it. I remember. What's it was meat bear meat. That I will, like, my favorite type of meat that I like is lamb meat. Lamb meat is my oh, favorite. Oh, lamb is so good. So oh. good. Lamb meat is like my favorite. Yeah. I actually like it more than beef, matter of fact. Like, even even if you were to like be like an A5, you know, Wagyu, I, I just still want to eat lamb, you know. Like, I kind of agree. Yeah. I don't know why, but like, like expensive meat is good. You know, like A5 Wagyu or this, this, that, you know, the prime cut or whatever. But sometimes it's just too greasy. Like, I just want yeah. like one small piece and then I'm already satisfied. Like, I don't want to eat anymore, you know? For lamb, for me, it's like texture. It's like one of the mm, best it meats is. in terms of like just pure texture. Mm. Aside from like fat content and like gaminess yeah. and like... It's like the texture of lamb. Yeah. It's just like, oh, dude, you, you know, like monk, spicy Mongolian lamb is so nice. Yes. Dude, it's so it, is, good. it is insanely nice. Like, when I get hot pot and stuff, I have to get the lamb meat. Like, the oh, lamb meat is so good. Like, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Mm, it's insane. Have you ever had, like, ostrich egg and stuff? No. Like, I've never, never had an ostrich. It's, like, so big, isn't it? An ostrich's egg. It is. It is. Mm, I've never had go because <laughs> it's like it's like we could frankly we could like buy this stuff right like i bet you there's like a legal way to eat oh there should be peng penguin meat right like 
But like, I'm just imagining like me and you just going on an adventure. Just, Food like, adventure, haunted. dude. Like we like. <laughs> I'm imagining like there's like an ostrich and it's like hanging out with this egg, right? Mm -hmm. And then like you just like tackle it to the ground and it's just like trying to throw you off and then I like yoink the egg and then I run off. Oh. And then like you run oh, off and then we're just like, like looking a, at the egg. Like so monster. You know you this. can do that in Monster Hunter. Like there's like a like a monster called like the Rathian, right? It's like a flying dragon and it uh -huh. has like a, a dragon's nest. Like it has an egg. And when you take that egg, like it comes back it to its nest up. and it goes chases it chases you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yo, I mean, if you're ever interested in playing Monster Hunter with me and Altair, you should, you should hop in anytime. We, you can play with us if you want. Monster yeah. Hunter is a dangerous game for me. It's <laughs> pretty dangerous. Too grindy. <laughs> I I I failed like I failed a class because of it. Oh. Because like I I have like the grindy mindset where I'm just like playing over and over and over again. <laughs> And then you find the most efficient way to farm for like the parts and stuff like that to like upgrade and stuff like that. And then like you look up and it's just like, ah, oh, I didn't finish my essay. Well, I guess I failed that class this semester. Wait, cool. wait, which which um which one did you play in Monster Hunter? Which ultimate. Series? Ultimate. Wait, which which yeah. one's ultimate? Was it before? That's Wii U. It was Wii U oh, and then the 3DS, U, but I played right. it on the Wii U. Yeah. Okay. I used to play this one called uh, Monster Hunter <clears> Second <throat> Second G, or essentially called Freedom Unite. On the PSP, oh yeah, play. Freedom Unite, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> man, the old ones, old school ones, are great, man. Yeah. <clears throat> right. Wait, did <sighs> Ultimate have the underwater monsters where you could swim underwater and stuff? Oh, that the swimming mechanic was like not good. Dude. Oh, it wasn't good. It was so frustrating. Dude, I, like when I first saw it, my dad was like, "Oh, dude, we should get it," and I was like, "But we don't have a Wii U, so we never bought it." But ah, he, he was yeah. so excited for like the underwater gameplay. I still remember. Yeah. But I mean, hey, Vesper, you're a you're a, you're a streamer now. You ain't gonna you got you got no classes to fail. Yeah, you got all the time you wanna you wanna use on Monster Hunt. You can go for it, you know. <laughs> oh, what weapon did you use, by the way? Switch axe was my number one, oh. and then I like the uh, in is that is that the game where they introduced insect glaive? I oh, don't remember. Oh, insect glaive is good. Yes, insect glaive. It's really good. Yeah. <laughs> And then, and then, like aside from that, like sword and board is good. Hmm. It's just like a, it's, it's not great, but like it'll get you through like anything that you need to get through. But right. for me, like switch axe was like number one. Insect mm -hmm. blade was really good. But is, um, is switch axe the one with the sword and the blade, or is it like, which one is it? Switch axe. Switch axe is the one where like, you can you can like. It can be like a sword, and then it can be like an axe, oh. and then like you have to load like a, a canister into it, and then it has like a special attack with the canister, oh. and then like after you use it, you have to like reload it, and it's just like it's good. Oh. I also, when I played multiplayer, I like the hunting horn because I do oh. like to support people, but right. when I'm soloing, the bar. I, I did use the switch axe. Yeah. Ah. And we gotta do like a one day monster hunter class. Ah, you're not gonna you're not gonna trick me into into months. I'm not gonna. Oh, I can't. can't. Let's be honest, dude. Like, I I'm not the gamer of Tempest. It's like, okay. I think my special, like my like the most dangerous thing is like if I get like too deep into a game, and then I drop like the Zatsu content because it's just like oh. that's the only thing that I'm like kind of okay at. And right, if I like right, right. drop it, and I would drop it. Like I could totally see myself playing like Monster Hunter. I mean, it could five days a week, like eight hours a day. And it's just like, oh, I didn't do a Zatsu this week. Ah, whatever. I'll just play Monster Hunter. And then it's just like, uh oh. I mean, what I do is when I play a lot of games, my my gameplay <coughs> a lot of the time is just Zatsu, anyways. Is what I do. You know. I but, can't. I can't. I'm so bad at that. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I guess like if we ever do have like a full Tempest collab and like a new Monster Hunter comes out, then we could give it a shot or something. You know. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can see that. Yeah. Oh, we have some crazy talk today, dude. <laughs> I know, right? Oh my god, we went like way longer. These yeah. fucking, the, the fucking staff at the Yakiniku place, they probably want to like throw us in prison. Yeah, they're just they, like, dude, they're like, it's two, it's two thirty. Uh, what are these guys like? Two damn, the last train is like already gone. When the fuck are these guys? Like they, they like secretly took pictures of us, and they're gonna yeah. put us behind the counter. Like the pictures are behind the guys. Like do not serve. Do not oh see these people. Gosh. So we're gonna show up next time, like drunk, and we're gonna be like, oh yeah, can you? Can? They'll be like, no seat, get out. Yeah. And it's like oh what? My yeah. Oh, 
But dude, we should we should like actually do like the what do you call? It? Hey, Altair, thank you for the raid. Thank you so much. What's up, oh, Altair? Oh crap! We should yeah, have we, raided we, him. Yeah. We should have raided him. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we, we we I I had I have my raid already set up for Altair. I was like about to, we were like about the end. We were like about to wrap it up. <laughs> oh no! Is anyone streaming right now? I don't even. Know I don't even know, man. Yeah, I don't know. I I can't tell because I'm on a laptop. And I can't. I don't have yeah. a second monitor, and Wait. I hate it. I, let me have a look. I need a second monitor. Let me see. I'm all, uh, let me let me have a look. Uh, let's what see. What we got? Oh, but yeah, it's been. It was a good stream, though. We like. It was good. About, yeah, we talked about some like some insane stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy like... shit. Just I don't even remember what we were talking about, but we went I from think, like. I think life. I like very gently alluded to the fact that we might be eating human meat <laughs> and one day. Penguin meat. <laughs> Penguin is like whatever. Like people latched onto the fact <laughs> like, "Ayo, human meat? What? Really? It's just a bit, dude. You guys it's are taking it way too seriously. Yeah. We would never eat. Axel, we would never eat human meat, right? Yeah, we, never, we, never, like, we just like never. we never do that. Never, yeah, never. I will never eat. Human. The people that like assume that. Come here. Come here. Hmm? Come here. Hmm? <laughs> the people that like assume that we would ever eat, eat human meat. I think they should. Um, they should come here. Yeah, we should have a meeting. You know, come into the basement for yeah. a meeting. Yeah. yeah. Magni Desmond yeah. Sim basement. You guys are all gonna be in. <laughs> That's still the funniest thing. <laughs> I just remember you guys like trapped someone. Did you guys like treat that person very well or something? I heard. Yeah. Yeah. We we were all like borderline like. We were all bored uh, like mentally broken because of like the stress and like right. the, the depression from like being too poor. Yeah. And she's like living like a monarch oh, in the basement. Okay. We gave, gave her everything. Oh, uh, is look. anybody streaming or are we like screwed? Uh, like, we yeah. just chew, like... I, I see play on one at like 10 a.m. tomorrow. Oh my god. It's oh, fine. Yeah, I mean, we, it is we, what it is. We should. Yeah. 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 We should. But uh, yeah, because I mean, it, it is like 240. Thank you for inviting me on, man. Get... Yeah, no problem, dude. Thank you for joining, matter of fact. Dude, it was, it was kind of <laughs> insane just out of the blue. Yo, but... were you sent by oh, streaming? Oh, wait, were you sent by streaming? Let me have a look. Let me have a look. Give me a second. Were Did you sent he by streaming? give us permissions? Um, I just need to. Here's the thing, right? It's like. um, Give me a second. Like, we, just, we need both. Both side permission. Like, if I want yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. So you have to add him and then and see. Yeah. If, yeah. Okay, let's see. Is it gonna allow me to? Hmm. Um, Nothing. Wait a minute. Hold up. Let him cook. Let him cook. Let him cook. <laughs> I am trying to trade, but I'm not too sure if I can. Um. No, I can't. Unfortunately, it doesn't yeah. let me. Yeah. What can um, you do? Yeah. It sucks. But unfortunate. Kobo is streaming. We can read into her. If she's streaming. Do you, Do you have the permissions? Like uh, for me, I was just like refresh. Because mm -hmm. if they started or if they made the stream page like after you started, then you won't be able to see it anymore. But if you can't see it, then you can't do it. It's just kind of like mm. ah, whatever. We'll just end it. Um. Wait, is she streaming? I don't think she is. Nah, she's not. I have, I have no idea. Nah, nah, Dude, we're getting yeah. like one guy. Damn it. Right, yeah. We couldn't do it. Sorry. No problem. Sorry, no problem. Guys. No sorry. And this is like a weird time yeah. Yeah, for like weird EN servers. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, anyways, guys, thank you so much for coming to watch this. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, yeah, Dad and Son out of nowhere collab. We, we just drunk. Um, maybe next if time. If we said you guys anything would... weird, yeah. you didn't hear it. You didn't hear it, yeah. You didn't yeah. hear it, or if you know what's good for you, you didn't hear it. Yeah, you didn't hear it. That's what we yeah. said. You know, exactly. Look out for yourself. That's what that's what we just saying. You know, look out for yourself. <laughs> look out for it'd be yourself. a shame if <laughs> something were to happen to you while you were going yeah. to get food, right? Like yeah, it would be a shame if if two guys in like masks came like, wow. and like put you into a car or some shit. I don't know, man. Yeah, Axel and Vesper from Hollow Stars English. Wow, yeah. amazing. I mean, and then like we just like, you know. Yeah, if you guys, you know, if you guys, you know, did hear something, better keep it a secret or, <laughs> yeah, keep like, it yourselves. you'll get yeah. put into the same trunk that we have all those Pepsi cans in and you're going to be 
rumbled and tumbled in those fucking Exactly. Sketches, the man. deluxe punishment bag. Yeah. Exactly. So, uh, keep it a secret, guys, if anything bad did happen. <laughs> but that being said, yo, best. we should, next time we should do, like, an actual izakaya, like, off collab on, like, quit, quit a space yeah, or whatever. But- yeah, like a Twitter space, and like we gotta get a private room because yeah, yeah. it's like <laughs> I, I like admire the fact that you can just like not give a f, f but like, like for oh, no. me, we'll, we'll it's just, I'm so paranoid. No, like, no, we have can't. to, yeah, we have to get a private room. Yeah. If yeah. anybody in realizes in real life realizes that I'm a VTuber, Sheesh. I'm just gonna have to like jump into the ocean. Uh, well, I'll be pretty shy too, though, to be honest. If that happens, <laughs> but hey, thank you guys for watching. Yeah, we'll thank you for guys watching. Tomorrow. See you later, Take guys. Care. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye Good bye. Night. Good night.